All right, guys, let's go. Um, listen, A, hey, we're doing Black Temple. That means no clowns in this raid, okay? Um, no Grod is going to be tanking. Move up, boys. Let's get ready and go to work. All right. Some ground rules for the raid. Don't fuck up. Let's get started. So we apparently are having a tank problem already. Just a minute. We got we have to deal with this. Um Gian and Nograd. Uh I'm gonna have to ask you guys to uh please tank the mobs. Okay. I know it's hard. I get it. But we can't have a shaman tank in all the mobs. Let's get serious, alright? Let me know if any loot drops. I need that. This, this raid is a problem. I'm just, I'm so worried right now. All right, let's go. Are you on holy or blood? Uh, I'm blood. I'm tank. Uh, that's how I have 10,000 health. Uh, this is my gear right now. I've, I've got this. It's a pretty good item. Uh, Mark of Cthun. Uh, this is from uh, level 60 raids. And we also have the uh, Nomad's Woven Cloak, Mech Tech Shoulders, Glory of the Defender. Definitely one of my better items. And uh, yeah, I'm doing fine, man. Let's try to make sure that we don't let her cast those. Uh, so let's talk about the first boss. If you get speared, uh, somebody needs to click it off of you. Now, if you click the spear, and it was not your job to click the spear and you do it wrong, you're kicked out of the raid. So if you don't know how the spears work, you don't click them. You understand? You guys get that? All right, good. Yeah, you're you're done. DK so tanking merit other classes, it's nutty. I feel like warriors are fucking insane, man. Uh, let's go get these guys. Just grip everything in, doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I don't feel bad as a warrior at all. I'm I'm chilling, man. Mm. All right, uh, we're gonna need uh, one more DPS, preferably a shaman. If you are a shaman, uh, please go ahead and uh, message me. I'll take pretty much anybody at this point. Like, we're not going to start the raid with 24 people. So, like, if you want to come to the raid, uh, just hit me up. Alright, we've got Death Tard who wants to be in the raid. Uh, let's get summons out, guys. Uh, this boss, uh, basically, let me go ahead and take you through the way the boss works. Uh, pretty much, we're going to go ahead and the phase one is going to be uh, pretty much we're going to pop hero, use all of our cooldowns, and then 
Phase two, he'll probably be dead, so it should be fine. Uh, if anybody has any questions, let me know. Uh, but that pretty much covers it. All right, let's go. We're gonna do one ready check. We don't, I don't like doing ready checks a lot, okay? You should always be ready. Zava. All right, let's go. Good job on pulling early, man. Good job. I really mean that. People are wasting fucking time. Let's go. Remember, guys. Just keep up the damage and the boss dies. Whenever he puts the shield up, if you are the person who gets the thing, you know what to do with the shield. Also, whenever the shield goes up, pop a cooldown. Whenever he turns blue, pop a cooldown. Like, whatever cooldown you have. Does this cost? That's uh, 20 runic power, okay. All right, good. Kill the boss. Damage sucks a bit of dick, but not too much, so we should be fine. All right, here we go. Let's see it. Give me the loot. Come on, please, 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 please. What the fuck is that? Oh, wow. That's good for me. How Bardo. Oh, wow, that would be crazy good for me. Holy shit. That's massive. I'm going to loot that to myself. Okay, um, let's see here. Uh, hubris with the two. Hubris, uh, we're going to go ahead and loot it to you. Where's Hubris? There he is. Agility is good. Look at what agility does. Critical attacks, armor... What else is there to say? Agility's insane. Hold on. I'm just glad I got something good. Like, look how big of an upgrade that is. The only problem is, like, my polearm skill is kind of low. Oh, we got the Oath Keeper to drop. That's unironically also an upgrade for me. Okay, let me go get that. Let's see, what's our shittiest rep paladin? Uh, Grudge actually did pretty well. I'll give this to Nograd for his off spec. It'll probably be an upgrade. Okay. No, I, I'm not gonna level weapon skill in the raid. I just, I think that's like dumb. Yeah, I mean, this also has a lot of stamina on the axe. Like, it's it's not good, obviously. What y'all doing? Y'all having a contest on, like, how slow we can clear the raid? Let's go. Come on. Get on these guys. Come on. Come on. What are y'all doing? For this boss on pull, just uh, try to take it easy for like the first five seconds or so. That way tanks can get threat. Uh, he's got like a hateful strike mechanic, kind of like patchwork. And so uh, it just makes it a lot easier for us if we don't have to deal with that. Also, uh, these Wind Reavers, uh, it ranged, if you guys are able to zoom out and identify that there are these things that are in the air, uh, we want to kill them. Also, uh, wow, look at that. Man, wouldn't that be awful, GN, if you just had the breath in the raid? That would have been terrible, huh? Make sure you always, like, every single NPC in the game, you want to just by default 
take the NPC while you're tanking and turn the NPC away from the rest of the raid. Do you have a rune strike? Yeah, I do. I have a keybound to heart strike. Uh, that way I don't have to like have extra keybinds. But yes, I, I do have it. Okay, keep it up, guys. Uh, get uh, Miss uh, Miss Maven down or up. Is it spin special when I do I cast on the main tank? It's fine. As long as the boss is tauntable, there's no reason to worry about that. Yeah, I mean, tanks... Uh, the thing is, like, there's a lot of tanks. Like, you have to understand that, like, a lot of people that play tanks are only, like, in a, on an evolutionary level, they're only one, uh, one DNA strand different than a gorilla. Uh, so basically, they're the same thing. And if you understand that about tanks, you'll understand, like, why they do what they do, why they don't pull whenever they're supposed to pull, uh, why they stand in front of the breath, even though they're not even remotely close on the aggro table. You just have to understand, I mean, these are gorillas. And if you have a gorilla in the raid, you have to just be aware that it could do whatever you want. Um... Let's see here. Uh, or it'll do whatever it wants. Uh, banded de what, what do you mean, Banded Devastation? What are you guys talking about? What do you mean? I'm confused. Alright. So, uh, let's go ahead and talk about this fight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tank him. Uh, if you stand next to a volcano, it's bad. If he targets you, just run away from him. Does anybody have any questions? Pop hero on pole, just burn down the boss. It's pretty simple. Alright, let's get ready. We're gonna go. Alright, good. We got heroism out. Great. I'm really doing bad on keeping my diseases up. I'm a bad boy. Long dicks, guys. I don't know if I mentioned that. Run away. Molten flame. Oh, that's fire. I didn't see him because it was under his foot. That's my bad. I shouldn't have taken that damage. It was a mistake. Oh, fire, by the way, guys, in case anybody wasn't aware of this, you really don't, you really, really don't want to be in it, okay? Good job, yeah. Guardian Spirit, even though I'm full health, really smart. Okay, fixate on Gian. We got really lucky because Gian's a tank. Really smart, Gian. You're kind of following my advice, at least halfway, about moving the boss and facing him away. Ironically, this boss it doesn't really matter with, but that's good. Okay. Great fucking job, guys. Alright. Um, let's see here. Idol of the White Stag. Anybody want this? No? Okay. Uh, Neri, congrats. I think I want this. Yeah, d do I want the Brutalizer? I feel like it's really good for dual wielding. Yeah, I thought so. Congratulations to me. Thank you guys, by the way, for the congrats on that. I I've been working pretty hard to get this gear, and so... 
It's a pretty big moment in my life that I was able to loot that item. Ninja loot? How could I ninja loot? Grantsman, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Oh, we don't have somebody who doesn't know how to pull the mobs into the pack, do we? We don't have somebody who's messing stuff up, do we? Oh, that would be so disappointing if we had somebody doing shit wrong. That was a... Alright, um, so we just had a... Um, so I'd like to refer back to a chart uh, in terms of knockbacks and how to approach uh, the raid in regards to those knockbacks. So, how to decide if I should do a knockback. Should I do a knockback? No. All right. Uh, what do you what do you got? What are you people doing? Move up. This is a uh, this is a unfortunate situation. I have to line of sight this guy. Uh, please do not move past me. Um, as always, I am the dungeon master, which means that if, uh, you know, like, I, I know what I'm doing and nobody else has any idea what game they're playing even. So keep that in mind and uh, always just defer to whatever I tell you to do, okay? Uh, burn down skull. Yeah, please, the worst thing that you can do for this raid is thinking for yourself. That is the one thing that will set us back farther than anything else. So, like, for example, like, whenever you move forward, remember how I pull this pack every time that we do Black Temple? The reason why is because I don't trust people to not make a mistake. And you can see here why that was the right decision. So please, from now on, uh, let me pull, let me make the decisions. Uh, I always know what I'm doing. There we go. The sheep, sheep succeed. Think about this. Sheep have evolved for how long? Fucking uh, billions of years. Have you evolved for billions of years? No, you haven't. Yes? No. You came from God. Sheep have evolved. You guys can pull those. Alright. Anybody want these uh, plans? Five, four, three, two, one. It's going to Loy. What are you people doing? To be fair, actually, I think we're doing this pretty well. Like, now, now that I look at the... This group? I mean, these guys are doing pretty, pretty well. Probably go pull them too. We didn't get a chance to. Yeah, it, it should be fine actually. We'll just go ahead and move in, pull some of these guys. And just try to, if you get aggro on one of these guys, don't worry about it. These guys are going to aggro too, by the way. It's just it's it's just going to happen. Yeah, don't talk to a comma. If we do, we have to kill more trash. He's like a bonus trash mob that actually he has a high a good loot table though. But he is effectively another trash mob.
Um, I don't feel like explaining this. Just talk to a comma and kill the boss. Yeah, I'll give you the next one, Hubers. Okay. Kilads West. We just pull these guys on top of them. That Kilads. way, we can just do even more East. damage. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Whenever a comma gets to, uh, we can just pop heroism and burn him down. It doesn't even really matter. Like, we don't even super need heroism, but I bet it'll take 10 minutes to get the Terran Gore Fiend anyway, so who cares? Uh -huh. No, serious? Who makes a t-shirt you love so much? Oh, I don't even know. Okay, just got garbage drop. Fucking stupid game. I hate this fucking game. Alright, give me a minute. Alright, wristbands of divine influence. Yeah, hero does reset. Okay, nice. Neri. 78, congrats. Focus mana bindings. Let's go. Spado, okay. Been invited. All right, there you go. We good. We go. We go. We good. Uh, drama. I, I might. I'll make a comment on it like after I finish the raid or something. But as I said before, it's not going to be uh, I anything exciting. I'm sorry to say. I, I just want to. I want to finish this now because I've wanted to do this for like a few days. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys, you know, everybody wants to get, like, a clip or, like, something out of it, like, there's not really a lot going on. Okay. We plan on doing Sunwell after? Not today, but I might do Sunwell. Yeah. I haven't really decided what I wanted to do today, like in general. Probably watch some videos in a little bit and just fuck around. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, you guys should be able to, uh, I mean, we can pretty much just clear things. Like this group is actually pretty good. So I'm gonna try to like micromanage you guys a little bit less and just, uh, you know, make good decisions with your pulls and uh, we should be fine. Big dick damage, guys. Let's go. Oh, I can actually pull this guy in, too. Why am I the only... Pro like, why is it that, like, no DKs have any situ situational awareness? Like, they don't even know if there's, like, a mob that's not in the group. Like, they, they, it's, it's like they don't even know what's happening in the game. Am I tanking? Uh, I'm technically tank spec, but, like, I'm mainly doing loot and uh, just telling people what to do. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give this one to Loy as well because nobody wants these patterns. Okay. Still entering the rotations? I mean, it's possible, man. Okay. It's like zero. Oh, there we go. There we go. We actually had a death grip. Nice. Good job, guys. Great job. Probably should just pull. Yeah, just pull these guys in. Like, realistically, they're going to get pulled anyway. Everybody knows it. All right. We're good. 
Why do I treat everyone with superiority and, and everybody still does raids with me? Do you want to know why? It's because we've been in this raid for like 30 minutes or 20 minutes and we're already almost at the fourth boss. I stack raids so I don't wipe. So anybody who wants to deal deal with me, they're probably going to be in a group that's not like a fucking wipe fest. Now, sometimes, you know, like we have incidents, okay? But for the most part, I have generally successful raids. Hey man, I get sore hands in forums from playing so much WoW. I never have that happen. Yep, I always feel fine. There's never an issue. Sunwell was rough, but we did finish it. We did. We, we, we fucking did it all the way. Okay. What's this? Uh, the reason why is because um, I, I, I guess maybe I've done it so long and, and like I'm just kind of like my body is acclimated to it. It's the same as like how people do like some jobs that are like backbreaking for like 30 years and like somebody does them for a, a, a fucking week and they have like permanent damage. It's like just, you, you know, the human body is really good at acclimating to something and then just getting used to it. We have something drop. Uh, no, we didn't. Nope. Uh, no loot. No loot, guys. No loot. We didn't have any loot. Nope. Let's go. Wait, I can't use maces? Wait, can DKs actually not use maces? You can if you try. Yeah, that's what I thought, man. I was freaking out. Don't lie to me like that, guys. You have to train it? Yeah, it's fine. Mm. Okay, um... For Terran Gorfiend, uh... Uh, I'm not, I don't, yeah, we don't need to explain this fight. Uh, we'll be able to kill the boss before anything happens. Just, uh, really do big damage. And that's it. That tasty frost tank set. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do, like, if I'm gonna use dual wield or not. I mean, like, I'm probably gonna get soul cleaver here. And whenever that drops, I'm just gonna use that fucking right off the rip. Let's see, I'll loot this to myself as well. Inventory's full, I gotta throw away some more stuff. I don't know what that is, but I don't need it. Okay. This has actually been a good raid for me so far. Don't be a stress-free day after everything. I'm fine, man. Don't worry about. It. Don't worry about me. I'm always gonna be good. Don't worry. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna pull the boss and then we're gonna kill him. Sound good? Great, let's go. Big numbers, guys. Huge damage. I got my trinket proc right there. We should be just fine, though. It's okay. I can parry anything and everything. I'm actually doing pretty good damage. I'm curious to see what my numbers are going to be at the end of this fight. Shadow of Death. You know what that means, Gian? No, you probably don't, and that's why I didn't explain it. Don't worry about it. You're just gonna die. It's fine. 
300 DPS? No, I'm doing way more than that, man. Probably like 400. Okay. Don't worry about these constructs. We'll kill the boss before they kill us. Good job. Well, a bunch of fucking garbage dropped. Chip and Flakes 26, Sarala with a fucking 92. Sarala. Why? Why? Why did you do that? Look at my waist. I don't care what your waist is. You're not getting a you're not getting a caster item. Like it, it's just not going to happen. Okay, CC Ender. All right, there you go. Ninety nine. Congrats. Let's play, dude. What the fuck? Guys, I'm not going to loot somebody a healing paladin belt as a warrior. It's not going to happen. It has intellect and spell power on it. I don't know if everybody's collectively lost their. F I can't loot this one. I don't know why. Yeah, it, it's not going to happen. Okay. Let's go over to uh, the fucking uh, Reliquary of Souls. Thunderclap needs spell power. Honest, oh, it did. I think. It, I think didn't Thunderclap scale with spell power a little bit in Classic or something like that? I don't know. It was a long time ago, dude. I'm happy I got this axe, man. This axe is so good. Holy shit, look how good this axe is. Heals it also? Well, yeah, I mean, healing is like... Healing is always scaled with spell power. I gotta find out what this guy's belt is, though. I'm actually kind of curious. Pull it. Wow, that's really pathetic. That's actually, that's more pathetic than I had expected. Holy shit. So, I'm actually curious, like, how did this happen? Wait, didn't you tell me you were full brutal gladiator? I, I, I swear you said a full brutal glad warrior. Carrot gang. What? Why do you... What is... You don't even have... A... You don't even... You don't even have a, a, a gun. You don't even have, like, a ranged weapon. Why don't you have a ranged weapon? Why do you not have that? Uh, I gotta get one more person into the group. Uh, Elrath had to go. Um. At least this. Wait. Wait, you put every point into arms? Except for second wind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm melee only. Sarala, are you new to the game?
No? How long have you been playing the game? I played since Wrath. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, there are so many, let's look at this guy's, this guy's damage. The crazy thing is this guy does good damage. That's what's so disgusting about this. I hit 70 yesterday. The gear you have would be shitty even for 60. He did a thousand DPS. Man, all right, uh, let, wait, 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 wait. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? We have a person here who's not here. Zaya's not here? Is he, a oh, he's AFK, who cares? Let's just go. I'm sorry, Asmon. You shouldn't be sorry to me. You should be sorry to yourself. You've wasted your time for fucking 10 years playing a spec that's garbage. Like, you're just, you're just handicapping yourself for no reason. Like, just look it up and figure out how to play your class and you'll be fine, man. I said I was 70 arms warrior, never full brutal. I just, uh, look, I, I mean... I, I mean, shit. What a dick. How's that being a dick? What do you mean? I, I'm not being a dick at all. This sh it's the truth. What, he's not five years old? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't hate him. We're not kicking him out of the raid. But it's, it's true. Move down here. Don't go all the way down to the bottom. Just stop right here. Come on back up here, it's a gauntlet. These mobs will keep respawning. Please. Doesn't mean you can't be a dick about it. I mean, I'm not being a dick about it at all, it's just true. He says, I have no problem with what you're saying. Yeah, like, what is, what's this pussy shit? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Man. You guys are out of mana? Just kill this guy. Uh, AoE down all the ads. It's not a big deal, guys. It's, it's really not a big deal. Uh, we'll be fine. Uh, just, just stay on the boss. Uh, I really don't want to have to micromanage you guys, but it seems like I might have to. Cause like now, now we're starting to make mistakes again. People are getting you know, like they're they're getting dumb. Ooh, wait. So why didn't we cleanse this? What? Dispels. Nobody dispelled this ever. Pop hero on this next phase. What the fuck? Can't you dispel? I thought only healing was canceled. Tw yeah, t how many paladins do we have and priests? This is crazy. Okay. You guys need to pop uh, big CDs and after this summon a Ruvo. Uh, make sure interrupt. You have to interrupt every cast this uh, this boss does, okay? Every single one. There's going to be a lot of them. Keep it up. Good job so far. 
chances of there being Classic Plus? I think pretty high. Nothing in this phase, asking a ret to dispel as an insult if they have Holy Pallies and Priests. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, we have both. I'm Oom um as a mofo. What do you mean? You got fucking 5,000 mana. What are you talking about? Uh, why is... Wait, wait, what? Wait, how the fuck did... Wait, did somebody die? Oh, never mind. No, no. How, how are we losing aggro? Come on, boys. Let's go. Wait, G GM, what are you- what the fuck are you doing? <sighs> okay, um... Alright, let's get ready. Alright, this is just- this, this part's really easy, just burn- burn them down. Probably- oh yeah, yeah, probably a missed interrupt, that's a good- uh, that's a good point. You're disturbed by the survey sent regarding classic Kata? No, I'm not disturbed by it at all. Rarely clear for your bosses with full bisque gear. Nah, there's a lot of people that have no idea what they're doing. Let's see, I only have one interrupt. Let's see who interrupted. Uh, but interrupt's actually pretty decent. I, I would say that's decent enough. I I'm not, I'm not bothered by that. Okay, big dick on him, guys. Big dick on him. Let's go. What server I play on? Uh, I'm on Sky Fury right now. Mm, these raids used to be turned to an epic movie. Yeah, I think people people might have blown it out of proportion a bit much. Uh, I don't think they were as hard as, you know, everybody remembered. But, I mean, back in the day, like, these raids were just insane. They were ridiculously fucking hard, man. Let's see. Don't expect Sky Fury to open up for months after launch? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, can we get a summoning stone? Get a summoning stone out right now for Eruvo. And uh, Zaya, I'm sure, will be back eventually. If he's not back by Gertog, we're going to replace him. We did it? Yeah, it's no big deal. Alright, let's get our loot. the fuck is this? Spado with the 57. Okay, CC with the 88, all right. All right, let's go ahead and get a, re uh, a, a fucking uh, the loot to him. Get reses out, guys, come on. Aruvo's here. Nobody wants these gloves. Okay, I guess I could loot them. I don't even really want these. Um, Miss Maven. Okay, good. That way I don't have to hold on to them. Two-person upgrade? Yeah, well, it's fucking leather for me, so I'm glad he's got it. All right, let's go. Uh, Reg Rezea here. Rezea. Yeah, Zaya is here. All right, good. Would a res system similar to Final Fantasy work in WoW? I would love if they had a res system like Final Fantasies in WoW. Because, like, the thing is with Final Fantasy is that the res system that the game has, it allows you to salvage bad attempts. Whereas, like, in WoW, you can have an 11-minute fight, and you know that you're going to lose by minute three. But you still, like, limp along for, like, seven more minutes. It's, like, super, super annoying. I don't like that. I mean, that's when I go to another PvP event. Uh, we probably, I mean, like, there's been a lot going on, and, like, we've had other stuff that we've been planning with, like, the org and everything, so probably not going to do another one of those before Wrath. I mean, Wrath comes out in three days. But, I mean, doing a, a PvP tournament for Wrath, I think that would be really fun. Like, I, 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 I mean, I'd be for that, for sure.
It's the last bit of traditional hardcore MMO that exists in the game, though. Uh, what is? You mean like dying in the game? I don't care about the game being hardcore. Who cares about the game being hardcore? Nobody cares about that. Only, only losers with something to prove care about that. If the game is good, uh, then that's what really matters. Yeah, this game was never hardcore. It was always supposed to be a casual MMO. Anybody that ever thought WoW was hardcore is probably just too young to know what actual real hardcore MMOs really were. Okay. Loot this, and what else do we get? More garbage. Is that mining ores on release? I actually did that back whenever Wrath originally came out. Did you play Final Fantasy XI? No, I didn't. And back in the day, uh, laughing at WoW because it was casual MMO. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, I, I think that just, like, over the years, people have gotten less accepting of things that are hard for the sake of being hard or that waste time for the sake of wasting time. Uh, th things like long runbacks, uh, y you know, like losing items whenever you die, like losing buffs, stuff like that. Uh, I, I think that in general, there's a lot of people, like, I mean, I, I know this is how I feel, and I've talked on my stream about it a lot, but people just don't want to waste time on something that they don't need to waste time on. It's like, in general, people want the fail state to be just failure and not have it be, like, exacerbated by some, like, other game system that further punishes you for making a mistake. You know, I think that people are not really as, as accepting of mechanics nowadays that add insult to injury. So, if you get the breath, you need to uh, run away from the raid. Everybody else needs to be pretty much behind the boss. Put the boss up against the... I'll, I guess I'll do it then. Okay. I'm gonna die pretty fast, by the way. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll do my best, but it's not going to be that good. So, yeah, if you get the breath, be be behind the boss right now, guys. And then you guys need to use... Uh, what do you call it? You guys need to get, get it out of the raid. Keep it up, guys. We're doing great. We are doing great. Wazuki, good job. Overall, good job. Okay, spam heal whoever gets this this charge. Oh, Vier's fucking dead, 100%. Okay... No, Grod, it's on you. Um, it's a wipe. It's a wipe. We we actually we're actually wiping. I'll go ahead and die. Vier, why did you run away from the boss? I was standing there when I got charged. Then you made a huge mistake. Where did I tell you to be? You got DI down near the boss? Well, then why weren't you near the boss if I said to be near the boss? I don't understand. Yeah, I, I, I'm confused. Because if I wanted you to be near the boss, why wouldn't you just be near the boss? Just doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Does this make sense to anybody? Like, I don't understand. Uh, 
Everybody come back. Everybody come back. Come back and talk to the NPC at the start. He's nervous, bro. I thought it was if you get the debuff to run in. Thank God you fucking didn't get the debuff then, because you were totally wrong. Uh, so you need to be stacked up behind the boss, like I said, because you need to move out whenever you get the deep buff, like I said. Because the breath breathes on you, and like, you've done this fight like twice, like you should know this. Um... Let's see, uh, yeah, we'll go down over here. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I said... I mean, I said what to do. I've never done- wait, Vera never did this? I thought you were in the raid before. Okay, if you never did it, yeah, just be behind the boss. Like, he does a breath, and if you get the breath, you need to run out of the raid. Also, if he charges you, he does, like, a fixate phase where, like, everybody needs to spam heal whoever he fixates. Professor afraid what's so serious? Well, I just need people to be able to follow. Like, I don't ask people to be able to be perfect at the game or do anything like that. The only thing I ask is for them to be able to follow directions. And if I say go there, they go there. If I say go here, they go here. I just need people to be able to follow directions. That's all I ask for. I'm not being unreasonable. This is absolutely necessary. Paladin, give the person fix it. Yeah, yeah, bop the person who gets fixated too. Admit they fucked up. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I'm not being unreasonable at all. Like, this is just, it, it's very simple. Just do what you need to do. Okay. Miss Maven, can you come here? Come here. Come here. Come here. Now turn around. Why are you closest to the boss? Why are you closest to the boss? Also, my first time here, I was trying to pump for you, dog. That's not what I was at. Well, but why would you be closer to the boss than any other player if you're not the tank and you're not the raid leader? Like, why would you do that? Like, what, what's your thought process? I was standing on his butt. I'm sorry, no excuse. You don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm not even talking about the fight. I'm talking about three seconds ago. Don't get too close to the boss. Stop getting too close to the boss, guys. It's so fucking annoying. We've had like three face pulls into bosses because you can't control where your character's standing. It's pathetic. Just fucking stop, please. It's so annoying. I don't want to micromanage people, but we're going to have to actually do this. All right. Before the fight, I wasn't. I just watched you. Turn off <laughs> Turn off aspect of the pack. Turn turn it turn it off. We're gonna get ready to pull in a minute. Alright? Okay guys. Let's get this started. Let's go, boys. Let's get them big numbers. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. There we go. Classics full of people. 
I told you not to fucking tank with the face away from the rain. And you fucking keep doing this side shit. Why are you doing this? Okay, here we go. Bop whoever gets fixated. Mono Ultra. Bop Mono, good. Why are you doing this? Just spam heal him. Why are you moving? What are you doing? Okay. Let's go back to GN. Keep it up, boys. We're doing great. This is a great raid. Alright, hopefully we get some good loot. Really, really hoping for some good, good purple items. Let's go. Okay. I got nothing. Absolute shit loot. Okay. Hubris with the 56. Alright. Garments of Temperus, Mooch Ass with a 60. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So again, guys, oh, you guys let GN die because I'm assuming after the fight was over, you stopped healing him, is that right? GN, is that how you died? They just didn't heal you whenever you had the debuff? He just typed LOL. Let's look at GN's gear. Okay, full Brutal Gladiator. This is actually pretty good, alright. Um, okay. 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 All things considered, it's not that bad. Yep. Uh, in this, in the scope of how this raid has gone, guys, uh, uh, let's just stop right here. Let me explain something. These next three bosses, you're gonna have to actually play the game. You're gonna have to turn your monitor on. All right. So I know we've been going through this and it's been fine, but let me assure you. That will not continue if you don't fucking do these bosses right. Please turn your monitor on right now. Let's go. No grunt? Yeah, no grunt's fine, man. No grunt's doing okay. A lot of damage on me. It's okay, though. Don't worry about it. Who's ready to do Nax for the millionth time? Uh, I am ready. You know what I'm really ready for? I'm going to make, I've decided, I'm going to make a wall of shame. And I'm going to have screenshots of every single person who dies in the Immortal and the uh, Undying uh, Pug Raids. And I'm gonna have a, like a board, like an actual real life like whiteboard, where I print out a screenshot of their character dead on the floor in Naxxramas, and I'm gonna wheel it out every single time that somebody dies in one of these. And those people are gonna be right behind me. And so if you die, you're, you go on the wall of the, the, the worst players of all time. That's what it's going to be called. It's going to be called the worst players of all time that have ever played the game in the history of the game. 
bring out your dead, yeah. You're gonna hit it intentionally, gets whiteboard, puts it on paper, not marker. Nah, nah, I don't need that. Oh, I mean, I'm not sure exactly how I do it. Something like that. People will do that intentionally, be on the wall. I highly doubt that. I mean, a lot of people actually just want to get the fucking achievement, you know? Okay, blood fist, I don't really care about that. It's just a green. Never mind, I was thinking about something else. Okay. Um, keep going, guys. Keep going. I don't need to micromanage these trash bowls. Just keep, just, just start pulling. If you have a wipe, I'll just start yelling at you guys. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. What if you, what if I die? Um, then it's gonna be somebody else's fault. Also, uh, I don't really make mistakes in raids. So it just, uh, it just won't happen. Okay. Got this. Great. Nothing else. Oh, instance, in instances, uh, as long as you don't attempt to reset. With this change, farming a dungeon should not prevent you from entering a raid instance. Oh, oh, that's actually really great. So basically what they're saying is that they're adding, that's actually such a good change. So, so they're, they're making it to where like the instance cap doesn't affect raids. That's a very good decision. Like Blizzard actually farming W's. I can't believe it. I thought they already did that. No, uh, well, I, they might have done that in retail WoW, but I'm talking about in, uh, it, this is in Wrath of the Lich King. Because you have to keep in mind, there's 10 instances per hour in retail, but there's only 5 in Wrath. That change didn't come out until, like, Kata or, like, Mop or Wad or something like that. I don't remember exactly. They buffed Sarth three dragons. That's good. They had to. The thing is, like, the Sarth three dragon fight would have been a bad... It would have been a bad game if every single time that you went in and you did the fight, all you did was burn down the boss. It was just bad design. Like, straight fucking up. Yeah, fight was a joke? Well, it's not that it was a joke, it's that you could burn it down and completely ignore all of the mechanics of the fight. As opposed to other bosses in Classic? Um, I think that, so, the difference is that the other bosses in Classic WoW... And also, that's not even, that, that's, that's not true, because, like, for example, like, with Sunwell, they tactically changed certain mechanics so that you had a, uh... Uh, so, so that you actually had to do certain... It, the, the mechanics were harder. They released them in their un, unnerfed state. So basically, for anybody who doesn't know, Sartharian Three Drakes is whenever you fight Sartharian, and there's like these ads around him that you have to kill. There's like three dragons. And if you don't kill the dragons, you just fight the boss. The boss is, uh, is empowered by the dragons. He does more damage. The dragons come down. You have to kill the dragons during the fight, right? And uh, it's actually really cool. And so what people were able to do, though, is they would get so much gear, and this is going to be easier for us now because people just are better at playing the game, uh, is that they would just burn him down before the dragons even really landed. So it's like, it's basically, it's kind of like what they did in BWL with Fire Maw, where like you literally didn't have to do any mechanics at all. And I feel like in Burning Crusade, they did try to prevent that from being a resounding thing, or like a, a, a thing that's always happening. Does that make sense? Sarth uh, World First, uh, get who in and tax the boss pretty much? Uh, yeah, Sartharian was always a free boss. Uh, especially with, uh, with zero dragons, uh, up, right? Like, with no, no other drakes, like, it was a very, very easy boss to do. You didn't have enough gear to do that when Immortal was still a thing? Uh, yes, you... Yes, you did. Uh, you absolutely did. Do I have to... Like, I'm not gonna go prove it because it's annoying. Uh, but no, that's not true. Please, what do you... Miss Maven, come here again. Come here, Miss Maven. Come here. Come here. Come here, I don't want to see the fights. Come here. 
Come here. Why did you get the clo why did you get closest to the boss again? I was getting behind the Garo. You were getting behind the boss or behind the trash mobs? So you think it's more important for you to gear out trash mobs than aggro the boss? Think I was closer than anyone else? Well then how is it that everybody saw- I'm sorry? Stop doing it. Stop getting too close to the boss. It's annoying. I'm gonna call you out every time it happens. Okay. So, this boss needs to be tanked by three tanks standing directly on top of each other. That means that me, Nograd, me, Nograd, and uh, Gian all need to be stacked on top of each other. And the reason why is she does an attack that the three of us need to soak collectively. Uh, it, you know, it does like 40,000 damage, and so like each tank takes like, you know, 12k from it or something like that. Uh, 13k from us, something like that. So, the three of us need to be stacked up for the whole fight. Uh, if you get teleported to somebody else, just spread out from them, and that's about it. Just burn down the boss. Yeah, run away from the other people with the purple beam. Alright. Let's get ready, tanks, get ready. Tanks, you have to stand directly on top of me, okay? Let's go. Um, I need a battle res. Yeah, I need a battle res. Death Tard, stand in front of the boss. Death Tard, stand in front in front of the boss. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're doing okay. Okay, Death Tard, uh, as soon as I'm healed up, you, you can move out now. Death Tard, move back in. Death Tard, move back in. Sorry, uh, our tank just died, that's why. I know it's stupid. Keep it up, guys. Keep yourselves healed. Use health stones, use potions. Really good job so far. I think this is gonna be a dub. Nice fucking job, Nogrod. Tanked it like a champ. Okay, so we got one of each. Here we go. One shot it? Yeah, because I told... It was impossible to dodge. Um, also, like, uh, I, I gotta... Just a minute. Uh, Zaya, uh, let's see. Zaya, I'm gonna go ahead and give that to you. Congrats, Zaya. Alright, Conqueror. Miss Maven, with the 100. Congrats. Protector. All right. Cross with the 54. Congrats, Cross. Boots. Maven did very well. They did top damage. Miss Maven with the 12. All right, we're going to give that to Miss Maven as well. Uh, so, uh, Sarala. Can you come here? Come to me. 
So, can you explain to me how parry works? How a rogue got conqueror? Uh, rogue got conqueror. Wait, what? Uh, am I- why are you- why did you roll on that? I gave you the wrong ones? Wh why did- <laughs> Did I roll the- uh, I did Protector, I did Conqueror. Look, I, I did- uh, I did Vanquisher, and that one went to Zaya. And then I did uh, Pauldrons of the Conqueror. I did that, and then Miss Maven won this role. Why are you? Wh what? What are you doing? I was rolling on the road. Well, why didn't you roll faster? How long do we have to? I don't give a fuck. Figure it out. How am I the bad guy? Zaya, give me the shoulders. You don't even need them. Please, just give me the shoulders. They rolled so late. Bro. Do you understand... Like, you never, like, but you never even said, like, hey, but I, uh, why wouldn't you just say, like, hey, I mean that this role is for the other one? Uh, check the boots. Let me see the boots. Okay, hubris. Uh, all right, that's fine. Miss Maven, trade me the boots, and I'll trade you the shoulders. Guys. If I roll on a piece of gear and you don't roll within three seconds of that piece of gear that's too fucking bad okay it's not hard to just roll if you roll and your roll goes off after the next item is being rolled for you can see how this would be very confusing and so now, I have to go out of my way to investigate every single role to make sure that nobody does something stupid. This is unbelievable. The <laughs> oh my god. What about stream delay? There's no stream delay. I link it in raid chat. Have you never played this game before? Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, let's go. No, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. We're not doing that, guys. Let's go. Pull these guys, too. I don't trust this. <laughs> brain delay. Speaking of brain delay. Who wants to tank the mage? Who wants to tank the mage?
Well, it's either Zaya or Moochass. No volunteers? I've never done this raid before. Zaya, do you know what you're doing? I only have 20 IQ points. Yeah. What the fuck are these guys doing? What are you doing? Why are they- why are they even here? Get out of the blizzard! Why- why- what the fuck is this? Why is he not death gripped in? Come on. Good job. Okay. So, the Illidari Council. I'm gonna be honest, guys. This is the hardest fight in here. If we can beat this fight, we can kill Illidan. So how do we uh, how do we solve this problem? Well, we just uh, kill the fight. So there are four different NPCs. All right. I will be tanking the rogue, Verass. I'll be tanking Verass. Gian or Nograd is going to be tanking. Oh, fuck. Is going to be tanking Garethos. That's the Paladin in Tier 6 with the uh, Hammer of the Nauru. So what does this mean? This means you are going to pull the boss, single target damage. Actually, let's go ahead and have... It would be really great... Oh, man. It would be great if we could have somebody also tank Lady Melande, but I just don't know... Which of you tanks GN and Nograd? Um, let me think of a way to figure out which one of you guys... Which one of you guys has a clue? Like, like you have any idea what you're doing? Okay. So. Loy, can you, um, can you just go into Frost Presence and tank, uh, Lady Melanda? And I want Brunette and Miss Maven, I want the, th the two of you on Lady Melanda. And you need to interrupt her prayer of healing cast. The other interrupts are important, but they're not that important. So, Moochass, come here. Come here. All right. It's very simple. I want you to target the mage right now. Click on the mage. He has more gear? Yes. Because you're doing it, he's not doing it. Okay. So that's why you're doing it, is because you know which NPC you have to do it to. That's automatically puts you above, like, most other people. So, what you need to do is you see this debuff that just came up here, this Dampen Magic debuff? Well, what you need to do is you need to spell steal this at the start of the fight. Like, you effectively do the pull, and since I don't really trust the tanks here, we are going to bop him for this one, because I think that there's going to be a problem here. 
And so what you're going to do is you're going to use spell steel to get dampen magic. And all you're going to do is pop every single CD at the beginning of the fight to keep aggro on high nethermancer. And all you do is attack him for the entire fight. You are effectively mage tanking him by spell stealing this dampen magic every single time that he casts it on himself again. So Moochass, I want you to explain what you need to do. I start the pull by spell stealing damp and magic, pop every CD to keep aggro. All right, that's just about it. Great. Okay, and uh, yes, I will bring Varas on top of uh, Garethos. So Garethos is going to do three things that are going to cause you to have to move out. Does I don't know if the mage casts blizzards on this or not. I don't remember. But he's going to do for sure consecration, and he's also going to do flame blast. Right, or sorry, uh, flame strike. There's going to be flame strikes on the ground. So you're going to be repeatedly needing to move Garethos, the paladin, out of the raid. You understand? Or Sorry, not out of the raid. Out of those uh, AoEs on the ground. And also rotate Gareth, uh, Garethos on the, just like the right side of the room. And don't keep him next to any other boss except for the rogue. And I'll deal with the rogue on pull. All right, everybody move inside to here. Not all the way inside, just move inside to here. We're going to go ahead and get ready to pull. Uh, Moochass, again, you are going to be the one pulling with Spell Steel and uh, just try to get aggro on High Nethermancer as fast as possible. So, like, probably, like, I don't know, like Spell Steel and then Flame Blast or something like that. That seems like probably a good idea. Uh, Chip and Flakes, you flaking out on the raid? Let's go. Chip and Flakes. All right, Moochess, it's on you. Do it at max range. Okay. Okay, so Garethos is just running around randomly. Watch your feet. Move, move the boss. Moochass, okay, all right, let's, we'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. Actually, it doesn't really matter. It's a wipe, it's a wipe, it's a wipe, it's a wipe. Everybody just stack up over here, we're gonna die. Yep, it's already a wipe. I didn't even get the spell steal. So can you explain to me how you were not able to spell steal within... Stop attacking. Like, so, let, let's actually look. Let, let's just take a look here. So, um deaths so you took it so is your gcd 15 seconds that's the question that we all need to know right now do you have a 15 second gcd don't release don't don't zone in don't zone in no you don't okay so you don't have a 15 second gcd so why was it that you were unable to spell steal the buff? Well, I was walking up to get into range. I'm not in range yet. Okay. So how long would it take for you to walk into range? Like, just give me, like, a general idea of how long that would take. Like, a ballpark. Four seconds. Three seconds. So, can you explain to me where the other 12 seconds went? <laughs> Zay, I might, I might. We'll see what happens. Beats me, man. No, I'm just, I'm just trying to get inside of your head. All I, I want to know, what is it that is causing this to happen? Okay. Let next time, let me pull it when I'm ready. Then this won't happen. Okay. 
Do you know why the boss got pulled? Maybe because I was too slow. Well, what were you too slow for? So you were too slow. What What do you mean by too slow? Spell stealing? Why would being too slow with spell stealing cause the boss to pull? Uh... I don't know. That's interesting. I arrived at that same conclusion. The reason why the boss pulled is because <laughs> you were too fucking close to the boss. <laughs> That's why it ran to you. Sorry, man. Well, don't you know that the boss pulled because it was you? Like, they all started running at you. Let's go. Move in. You're going to do it again. Move in. Did I say pull? Did I say pull? All right. No, I didn't. Not going to? Okay, good. All right, go ahead and uh, and and pull. Uh, let's get a bop on Moochass. As soon as you get a bop, go ahead and pull the boss. Okay, you pulled early again. Watch your feet. Get him out of there. Try and keep them together so you guys can cleave them. All right, this is all like. The pull is the hardest part of this fight, by the way. Stop attacking. Oh, yeah, stop attacking whenever she does the reflect shield. I forgot to mention that. Also, CC, can you turn off your uh, your, your fell hunter's uh, spell steal or uh, buff steal? Because it, it 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 fucks us if like your fell hunter like accidentally what spell steals from the mage or something. Okay, where is he? Watch your feet. Uh, Gian dead. Stop attacking. Okay, uh, it's gonna be on, uh, it's on Grudge Bearer. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to tank this one too. Where's Nograd? Is Nograd, a, is, is, is he here? I guess we'll have to tank Watch this one. Alright, so maybe move out of that. Yeah, maybe you should probably move out of the... Okay, all right, Nograd's got it. Good. Okay, let's keep heals on Nograd this time. Watch your feet. Get out of that. There you go. Okay. Watch your feet. And we've got... Uh, the guy coming up in just a second. There he is. Stop attacking. Watch I don't know what feet. this is. Spell? Oh, magical attacks. Okay. You guys are doing great. I'm really proud Watch of you. Your feet. I know it might not seem like it, but we're actually doing really well. Keep up the momentum. Just keep heals on Mooch ass and just keep all of our tanks up. Stop attacking. Get out of that. Keep Nograd up. We don't want Nograd to die. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, we don't want our, our tank to die. Watch your 
watch your feet. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Oh my god, how many of these are there? Keep it up. Watch your feet. Get out of that. There you go. Stop attacking. Keep mooch ass up. Just keep mooch ass up. I will be able to tank this, it'll be fine. Watch your feet. Get out of that. Just keep just keep everybody up. Keep everybody up. We're gonna be just fine, okay? I need big heels. Watch your feet. I actually think I'm just gonna let Varus kill a healer or two. Oh, I can't. Yep, just try to burn him down. Finish him. Finish him. Let's go. Stop attacking. 20,000 health, guys. Circle. Come on! Fuck! It's a wipe. If you guys had interrupted the cast, uh, like, Mooch ass, let's see, how many, uh, interrupts did you do? Probably zero? Yeah, yeah, you could have saved us there. Um, okay, uh, that's, that's alright, uh, just go ahead, uh, nobody, nobody, uh, zone in. Uh, we can do, uh, we can do everything. L let's go ahead and look at deaths. Um, alright. Just gonna talk about this. Uh, Gian... Looking at a flame strike. Another flame strike. I see. Okay. Yeah, I see what's going on here. So, uh, Gian, why didn't you move out of the flame strike? You got hit by it, I think, twice, right? I don't see it. Okay, let's make sure that we can figure out what a flame strike is after this. We'll go ahead and we'll deal with that. All right, sounds good. Also, keep in mind that you can move, uh, you can reflect the judgment cast. So whenever he's casting judgment on you, press spell reflect and it reflects it. Uh, next thing, uh, Malay, grudge bearer. Okay, so he just died from Malay after that happened. Consecration and flame, uh, and flame strike. Um, Gian, uh, not Gianna, sorry, Sarala. Sarala, why were you standing in con? I know. Okay, all right, you know, good. Next. Flame strike for Aruvo. Aruvo. You spent six hours, or sorry, not six hours, uh, eight seconds. I was going to say six, six seconds. Uh, 7.8 seconds standing in not only consecration, but also flame strike at the same time. What's going on? Yeah, he's also some, yeah. Do you understand what you did wrong and how to avoid having it happen again? My own consecration. Oh, you stood it. So, so your your consecration damaged you. Is that what you're saying? So, like, whenever you cast consecration, oh, it, oh, so then it's not yours. It looked the same. Okay. So if you can't tell. Which consecration is yours and which one is not? Let's let's look at your let's look at your damage. Consecration is nine percent of your damage. Holy fuck! Wow. Um, consecration is nine percent of your damage, and uh, dying is a hundred percent of your damage. So it seems like a mistake for you to have done that. Uh, don't do that again. 
Uh, don't make sure you're moving out of it. Also, uh, yeah, try to move out of the flame strike too. Let's see. Next, uh, CC. Uh, don't hit the reflective shield, man. It does a lot of damage. You don't need to... Wait. Well, actually, let, let's just look here for a second. Um, that's pr probably like tone down your damage a little bit on that one. I can see why you would have made that mistake. That's okay. Craw is also on reflective shield. Um, Vier. Divine Rat. I think this is kind of whenever things are falling apart. Okay. No, Grod, you've got to move out of the effects faster, too. Let's get these buffs out, guys. Come on. Um. Yeah, Muchas. Uh, let's get a summon out for Muchas. Let's get a summon out for him. No summon? Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. What's been going on with these summons? As I've said before, if I find out that you made a mistake or you did something wrong, you will never skirt the mistake. You, you, you will never skirt it. I will always get you. Do not even try. Okay. Everybody is here. Good. Gentlemen, we were literally 1% off from killing them. That means we're only 1% away. Get these interrupts off on the priest, too. Make sure we can't let a prayer of healing go off. All right. Who do I need to interrupt again? Nobody. It was just something that you could have done that was a good idea, but you effectively did your job, Muchas. You could have saved the raid, but you didn't make a mistake that uh, caused us to wipe. It was just a, a lack of, like, awareness, and it's like, that's fine, you haven't done this fight before. I, I wouldn't expect that. It's okay. Alright, uh, Muchas, you're pretty much ready. Uh, whenever you get a bop, move in. Go in whenever you get a bop. Do it. All right, long dicks, guys. Long dicks, long dicks, long dicks. Watch your feet. Let's go. Move out. Move out means you have to move your character out of the ability. Stop attacking. You don't need to move if they're not doing anything. Like, you're moving for no reason. You don't need to move for no reason. You need to move whenever there's something underneath your character. Watch your feet. So, like, right now, for example. Because you have Blizzard. Okay, so, like, that now, conveniently, the one time that you... Okay, alright, so, yeah. Yeah, now we want to... Now we want to move out. So, you want to move out Watch whenever there's something underneath you, not just randomly. So, like, theoretically, like, right now, you would want to move out because there's the Consecration. Stop attacking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'd want to... Okay, good. Alright. We got lucky. We got the ad right there. Watch your feet. Do my best to keep aggro on him. Really good job so far, guys. We're doing great. Keep it up. Yeah, you guys are doing amazing. Make sure you can spell reflect those, GN, whenever he does that. It's Stop not attacking. necessary or mandatory, but it does make the game easier. Watch your feet. Consecration, keep GN up. Come on. Come on, we can't be losing tanks. Neri, watch out. Watch your feet. Get out of that consecrate, guys. Let's go. Watch your feet. Okay. Watch your feet. Mm. 
We gotta keep these together as much as we Watch can. Your feet. Consecration. Stop attacking. Okay, we should have so much threat right now. It's not that big of a deal, but let's try to rotate around towards the group again. All right, let, right now, the main thing that we need to do is we need to make sure we keep interrupts up, okay? I'm even going to just attack her for now. Make sure we don't have any mistakes. No mistakes, gentlemen. Nice fucking job, guys. Nice fucking job. Okay. Rogue, Mage, Druid. Roll. Roll. That was amazing. You guys did so well there. I'm really proud of you. Great job. Okay, Zaya with the 74. All right, not too bad. Zaya, congratulations. Okay. Next item. Leggings of the Forgotten Conqueror. Eighty nine with no grod, and no grod is indeed a paladin, and that means he can equip this item. All right, good. Congratulations, no grod. You got new legs. Okay, vanquisher. Let's just go ahead, and I'm gonna give it to the second person who rolled on the last one. Uh, so we're looking at Muchas. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I, I think Muchas deserves this. You did a really good job, Muchas. Uh, just doing the doing the mechanics right and everything. Uh, good job, man. Congrats. Okay, and we got a piece of fucking garbage. Anybody want this shitty belt? Ooh, Zaya with the 98. Holy shit. The mages need spirit? I mean... Zaya, do, do mages use spirit? For leveling? Spirit crit. I really don't like giving you this belt, man. I really don't like giving you this belt, but I will give you the belt because you did win the roll on it. It, it is, uh, spirit gives crit. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Let me talk to a comma. So... Uh, yeah, thanks a lot for coming, Chip. I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. We are gonna need another healer. Fuck. That was our best healer. Uh, yeah, we need one more healer, guys. She goes tear belt after fell mist. Yeah, I, I, I figure that, but... I mean, like, this belt's fucking garbage anyway. So it makes sense that he'd want to replace it. He's trying to tell me to loot him. All right, so we need one healer for just Illidan. Are there any Illidan healers? Um, we have Blocky who can who can uh log over but he wants to be able to roll on Skull of Gul'dan. It's a uh, healing is not his main spec. All right, we we actually this is even better. We have a paladin. We have a paladin. We'll be able to get them in here. Everybody go ahead and group up at, at, up at the top and we're going to go ahead and explain the fight. So for phase 1, um we're pretty much just going to be fighting Illidan. If you get the debuff from Illidan, it's called like uh, parasites or like parasitic worms or some shit like that. What you need to do is you need to go and run on top of Illidan. Uh, whenever the debuff expires, it's going to drop two like little wormy boys and we have to kill them. Uh, it's pretty simple. And, and then after that, uh, the other thing is that he's going to drop flame circles on the ground. Just don't step on them and move out of them. I don't know who's going to have aggro. I feel like Illidan will probably kill me, but we'll see how, how easily I can tank the boss. Uh, also, phase two, we're going to have two very large infernals that need to be tanked. So I'm going to try to pick up aggro on this infernal right over here, and then I'm going to ask... Gian, I want you to pick up aggro on this infernal over here. 
Gian, come here. So basically, there's going to be an infernal. He's going to be, uh, he's going to, like, Illidan's going to throw his, his warg wave down. It's going to be, like, right here, okay? Like, where I'm jumping right now. And so this warg wave is going to spawn an add. And you need to move the add around the warg wave, but you can't let it get too far away from the warg wave. So that means you're, like, kind of rotating it around in a circle around the warg wave. Sometimes the ad is going to do, like, a flame breath type thing. And whenever it does that, you'll take more damage, and you'll notice there'll be fire under the ground. You have to move out of it. There's a lot of damage. Also, be very liberal with your cooldowns. Like, at, at that point in the fight, you need to just fucking, like, pop shield wall, pop last stand, pop whatever you need. If you even begin to start losing health quickly, you need to pop a cooldown as fast as you can. Now, for me, I'm going to try to tank the first one with all of my cooldowns up, and we'll see how that goes. If it doesn't go well, we will deal with it there. And so, anyway, uh, after that, also, like, the rest of the group needs to be inside of this metal grating. And that way, there's going to be, like, eye beams and Illidan is going to, like, th shoot a beam down. It's like a, a, a blue beam, and it's going to leave fire on the ground. It's kind of like the Supremus fire, if you guys remember that, the stuff you guys were standing in. Yeah, so it, that's going to happen again. And this time, it's going to do more damage, and you can't be in it. So you just stay around in this, like, general circle area. You'll be totally fine. Heroism and all cooldowns, I'm going to ask you guys to save for the second phase. Also, if one of the shards of Azanoth uh, starts attacking you, you need to make sure that you are, uh, uh, you need to make sure that you're not just like running away from it. It's better to stand and die because the shards of Azanoth get too far away from the warg waves, uh, they enrage and the, the, the raid wipes. So we can't let that happen. Uh, other than that, I think we're pretty much good to go. Does anybody not understand what's going on? Is there any confusion? And then phase three is just burn down the boss. If he goes into demon phase, just get away from him. Or just keep burning him uh, until he fucking gets 30% or something. Yeah, just, just deep dick boss. Alright guys, let's do it. No mistakes. Nothing. Let's go. We should be fine here, but uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Okay. My people and all of Outland shall be free. Boldly said. GN, can you do a uh, commanding shout? Like, I'm actually worried about time. The time has come. Four. The moment is at hand. Two. One. Okay, apparently not. All right, sounds good. Let's get ready. Don't worry about it, you're fine. Long dicks, boys. Long dicks. I need big heels. Good job, GN. You got it up now. That's what matters. Get out of that. Why would you be in the fire? Don't be in the fire, that's bad. Go ahead and uh, keep these ads away. Uh, I, I told you guys to keep them away. Uh, we have to kill these ads. Uh, Neri, why did you, why do we have this happen? Uh, kill the ads whenever they spawn. Good job. All right. Pop hero, pop hero, pop hero. Beat their dicks off. Let's go. All right. Good job, GN. Great job, GN. Keep up the good work. Uh, it's a white, by the way. It's a white. It's a white. Uh, you can try to kill it, but it's pretty much a wipe.
So who did he charge to there? Oh, we, we can't. I don't think we can finish it. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure out. Uh, I'll, I'll figure out how this works. Give me one second. Okay, we're probably not going to be able to kill the boss, as I said. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, let me go ahead. I'm just going to pull up the VOD. It's okay. Channel. All right. Let's find out what's really going on here. Uh, this is a big, uh, big problem here. Uh, we've had somebody who did not follow directions, even though they were told what to do. That's so weird. This is too easy. Okay. All righty. Little Nomi Joe. What were you supposed to do in phase two? I don't know. Were you listening? Not really. Okay. Um, well, uh, you wiped the raid. It's it's your fault and only your fault. Everybody else did everything right, and you fucked every- I was talking to someone, that's fine. Listen, you can't get too far away from the Warglaves. If you do that, the other one is gonna charge to you. So, like, stay in this middle area, and don't go out to those edges again, okay? Yeah, like, so you understand, right? You you can't go too far away. All right, all right, good. You never said that? Yes, I did. Go back, check the VOD. I even mentioned a 25-yard range requirement. I did say that? Of course I said that. Sometimes at night, and I percent aggro keeps it calm. I'm not mad. Like, the only time I get mad is whenever somebody says I didn't do it wrong, or he pushed. Like, let's say, let's say, like, oh, the elemental knocked me back over there. Well, then, then we're gonna have a conversation. But if somebody just says I wasn't paying attention and I had somebody over, I was talking to them, and then the boss got pulled and I, I didn't know what to do. Like, that's fine, right? Like, shit happens. I, I I'm not. I don't get mad at people for making mistakes, I get mad at people for making excuses. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it, it's very- I, I am a incredibly reason- I am the most reasonable raid leader there's ever been. There's never been a more humble and reasonable raid leader than me. Uh, everybody's pretty much here. Let's get buffs out. Okay. Uh, also, let's see. Oh, who, who fucked up the, uh... Who was it that got the first debuff? I guess I'm gonna have to start watching people's debuffs now. Because nobody knows how to move in. So, I, I want to go ahead and reiterate, if you get the Parasite debuff, you need to run on top of Illidan. So, I already said that the first time, I guess I'll say it again. Cleave adds down to melee if you get the debuff. Yeah, yeah, if you already are in melee, you're fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start it, let's go. Oh. 
I should have slaughtered you oh, and your malformed brethren long ago. That would be a big one. We've come to end your vain pillaging. That would be a big one. And all of Outland. Remember, I'm gonna need to have like a lot of heals at the beginning here. Big dick, let's go. Prepared. Long dicks, boys, long dicks, long dicks, let's go. Death Tard, you're fine. You're in melee. Flame Crash. Move him over here. Good job on that AoE. All right. Get ready for the ads. Remember, whenever these ads are up, pop big CDs. And don't leave that middle area, okay, guys? Long dick damage. Let's go. Sorry. I had to face him away. Good job. Get on the next one. Okay. We'll talk about why this one's so low health after this. I don't want to deal with it right now. Okay. Finish it off. Great job. All right. All we need to do now is just pump damage. Here we go, guys. Big dicks, okay? In case you forgot. Just burn them down. Burn them fucking down. I need commanding shout. Long dicks, guys, come on. Big damage on Illidan. Make sure to bring those into melee, okay? I'd really like to not have to use my CD here. Stage four. This is the fourth stage. Here we go. Long dick on Illidan. Long dick on Illidan. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get his ass. Get his ass. All right. It's on you. GN, it's going to be on you for Illidan, okay? Okay, 75, yeah, he hit me a little bit a lot there. Should I battle res anybody? Uh, yes, go ahead and battle res. Battle res Miss Maven, battle res Miss Maven. Yeah, battle res Miss Maven, and if we have a second battle res, battle res Death Tard.
Also, um, Jian, you need to have shield block up. Like, as soon as you start fighting the boss, use shield block. Yeah, use shield block whenever you get aggro. You have to have shield block up. Okay, good. That should stop Sheer. Okay, good. Um, shield wall or last stand the next Sheer, if you if it applies to you. There you go. A shield wall or something? Got him. He's dead. All right. All right, here we go. The Huntress is nothing without the hunt. You are nothing without me. Okay, he is give right. me a rest. I feel nothing. I am nothing. Stop, Russ. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! We got a Warglaive drop! Wow! That's insane! Well, uh, let's roll everything else off. Yep, let's let's roll off all the other loot. Yep, uh, let's see. Uh, Shard of Azanoth. Dude, what the fuck? We actually have one drop. Oh my god, this is crazy. Miss Maven with the 83, okay. Uh, Shroud of the Highborn. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Uh, CC... Uh, Ocraz and CC both rolled an 87. Okay. Uh, I Cross and CC... Uh, go ahead and re-roll. Holy shit, man. Holy fucking shit. It's right there. That's- that's actually a fucking war wave. Oh my god. Okay, Cross, it's gonna go to you. Alright, we've got one of each of these. Protector first. I mean, look. is pretty good oh that is pretty good that is a very 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 good item man it is a very 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 good item um jerry okay jerry you're a um jerry you're a priest and you're rolling oh no never mind okay okay jerry congrats and chest guard of the forgotten conqueror. Oh, I gave you the vanquisher one. Oh, that's my bad. Uh, yeah, can can you trade me? Uh, yeah, just give me a second. Trade me the vanquisher one back. Sorry. Thanks. That's my bad. Sorry, Jerry. Okay. Neary with the 97. The 90 fucking 7. All right.
Guys, uh, it's been a great raid. Uh, we had a really good time. I hope everybody enjoyed uh, the raid. Uh, so, I want to explain the dilemma that I'm in. At some point in Wrath of the Lich King, the Warglaive of Azanoth becomes equipable by a Death Knight. So if I loot myself this Warglaive right now on my Death Knight, in about a year and a half, in the Cataclysm pre-patch, I will be able to use this Warglaive and equip it to my character. You see what I'm saying? So... No, I cannot equip the Warglaive at this exact moment. However, if we assume that Cataclysm comes out and they did do the, uh, they, they did do the thing, right? They did the, uh, whatever you call it, the, the survey. So it seems like, it seems like they're probably going to do Cataclysm. And if they are probably going to do Cataclysm, and, I, I mean, I, I feel like this is a pretty easy decision. Because, it, it, and it's, I wouldn't even call it a decision, I'd call it an investment. Because I'm investing in the future of playing this character like two years from now. No, the transmog didn't come out until Legion, so we're going to have to wait five years actually for the transmog. I, I keep it for, I, I, I keep it safe, so nobody uses the Warglaive. So it, it, this is a really hard decision for me to make, guys. This is a very hard decision. So... run this for the main hand? <laughs> no, why the fuck would I do that? Okay. One glade to rule them all. True. True. I could loot myself this war glaive right now. I could take it because in Cataclysm I could equip it, right? So if I equip, if I give myself this war glaive, I'm doing it because I believe in 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 in, in Cataclysm. Guys, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to take it, okay? Like, I'm not I'm not going to take the Warp Wave. I had already made a decision before he killed the boss. I'm just playing you guys up. I I'm just trying to decide, like, should we have the two rogues or also warriors be able to roll on it? Don't roll. Th nobody roll. I, 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 like, I think that we should only have rogues roll on it. But it it's like... It's like it's such a it's such a prestige item. I would say everyone, yeah, it's that's a really good point, man. It's a vanity item. Let them duel. No, that's not fair. But rogue can utilize offhand until eighty. Yeah. I mean, but it's a cosmetic item. Make them death roll for it. Wait a sec. Wait one second. How big can I do a death roll? Okay. 100,000. Hmm. 
we could death roll it all the way down. But then somebody would have... I would love to do that, but I feel like it would privilege the person who rolls first. Why We could do it to where the rogues roll first, and then the warriors roll second. Because I think, I, I think that's fair. Because I think it should go to a rogue, but it is a vanity item. I, I like this, I like this. So because it is a vanity item, but it also is better for rogues than it is for warriors, I think that I decide the four people that roll in order and we death roll all the way down from 100,000. I think that's fair. Let me see if I can do a million. I can. All right. Gentlemen, we have come to an agreement. We will be rolling off the Warglaive. And there will be four participants in this roll. Let me explain how this works. The first person that's going to roll, I've already decided who's going to, who, like, what the order is going to be, by the way. So, uh, don't do rolls now. Do not do rolls now. Do not do rolls now, okay? Please. However, we are going to be doing Miss Maven, Brunette, Gian, and then Sarah in that order. Because I think that's who deserves it from most to least. Based off of their participation in the raid. However, so what you are going to do is you are going to roll, not yet, do not do anything. You are going to roll, you're going to type slash roll. Let me go ahead and just do this right now. Slash roll and then space one and then the dash and then one million. That's six zero. So do one, two, three, one, two, three again, okay? So you're going to theoretically roll this number, all right? Now this number is going to roll to 350,337. Uh, so then theoretically, Brunette would roll 350,337. So Brunette, do you understand? So like now you would roll between one and that number. Do you get it? Yes. Okay. All right. All three, all four of you, come over here. Come over here. Actually, stand in front of Illidan, in front of me. Miss Maven. If I would loot counsel it, it would be going to you, even though you are a bit of a dumbass with getting too close to the bosses. Brunette, you've also done quite well. Where's where are the other? Okay, and so uh, the other ta where's the, the tank? Where's it? So Gian, uh, so this is why you're third and not first. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, now it's you. You're over here. And um, then we've got uh, Sarah, who is, where's Sarah? Okay, right here. All right, good. So, I want you to say, all four of you, I understand if you understand what the rules are. And again, the roll order is going to be Miss Maven, Brunette, Gian, and then Sarah. Okay, you understand. Brunette understands. Good. Miss Maven, I understand. Sarah Law understands. Gian? I will explain for what you need to do. Yes. Now, gentlemen. We will begin the death rolls for the Warglaive. The first person to hit one gets it. Well, start us off, Miss Maven. Let's go. It's going to despawn. It'll be fine. Holy shit, he took it all the way. All right, Brunette, there you go. All right, Brunette with 25,000. 
So, Gian, you need to roll between 1 and 25,495. Okay, 22,412. This is you, Sarawa. 15,686, okay? It's, it goes back to you, Miss Maven. And now you roll between 1 and 15,686. Okay, wow. Not making much progress there, okay. 5,000, brunette, okay. It, it, it's to you, uh, Gian. 665. Sarala? 165. Miss Maven? Eighty-six. Brunette, twenty! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Gian, fifteen. Sarala, fourteen. <laughs> it's on you, <laughs> Miss Maven. Thirteen. Oh, fuck. Brunette went thirteen. Nobody wants to go low. Gian? No! 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 Sarah is gonna get the war glaive of Azimnoth! Are you fucking kidding me? Sixty one Carrot Gang? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Carrot gang! <gasps> Bro! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Thank you so much for the rain. Yeah. Congratulations, Sarala. I'm a man of my word. Please tell me you have dual wheel blurn so we can see it. There it is. Wow. Wow. I can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it. Congratulations. The only non-guildy. Look, if you want to join our guild, let us know. I mean, we did get you a legendary, you know. Love you so much. I love you too, man. You've really got to figure out your spec, though. Like, your spec's awful. You got to look it up on, uh, on, on Wowhead. You're setting yourself up to fail, man. There's no reason. You actually play pretty well. You're just... You're... You, it's like you've got everything, like you've got you've got the keys, and you're just driving the car into the wall. Carrot gang, boys. Gentlemen, this is what Wrath of the Lich King Classic truly is. Carrot on a stick. Warglaive of Azanoth. Yes. Is this... Yeah, he got 70 yesterday. Congratulations, man. Oh, he actually quit his guild. Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna invite you to the guild. Guys, we've got a legendary in the guild. Carrot gang, let's go! Alright, it's bussin'. Yeah, true. So let's go ahead, let's do Hygel. Um, gentle sirs. Message me for Hyjal. Let's go. This is a- it, it's one of the hardest raids in the game. So, I, I want you guys to understand this. Like, this is- It's not a joke. Uh, it's not an easy raid. Uh, this is probably, as I said, probably the hardest raid in the game. Makes Sunwell look like a joke. The hardest part about it is being able to do the whole thing and not die of old age by the time you get to Archimonde. All right, everybody move up. You're going to line a sight right here. Uh, let's go. 
Let's go, come on. Uh, somebody talk to Jaina. Let's get this started. Uh, guys, uh, this, this raid uh, is very hard. Uh, very few people uh, know that, uh, how to, like, basically what to do. So just be good and be good at it, and that's all we'll really need to do. And uh, we're just, yeah, just line of sight right here. Yeah, I'll watch... I'll watch all the, the, the other stuff, like the videos and all that. Let's go, boys. Massive damage, guys. Come on. Great job. Wow. I'm so proud of you. This is only the beginning. How much damage did I do? I did 1.8k. That's actually pretty good. I'm happy. All right. I mean, like, I'm, I've got really good gear. Not going for us for trash. Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just doing this. I'm going with whatever I think is best, and I don't know what's best. Get all these mobs together, boys. Let's go. Big numbers, big numbers, big numbers. Let's go. Nice job, guys. Let me put this right here, too. Blood DK is good tank. No need to sweat with Frost tank. Uh, I mean, like, Frost, what does Frost do for tanking? Uh, that one's pretty, yeah, I mean, that that's really good. So, like, think about if there's a dick sucker that's not on top of us. What do we do? Death Knights, what do we do? There we go. Look at that. Good job. All right. Just, we're just going to roll this stuff off as it's happening. Nibbles with the 70. Iggy with the 86. Iggy, can you link your uh, uh, your tailoring? Okay. All right. It looks like he does have tailoring at least. That's good. All right. Let's go. What you doing? What you doing in the wrong spot? What you doing in the wrong spot? What you doing? shouldn't be in the wrong spot you gotta be in the right spot keep that in mind so for this first boss name is rage winter chill dangerous ferocious deadly DK's I don't want you guys to cast death and decay at all on the fight that way nobody thinks that the DK death and decay is the same as the bosses the boss is gonna do death and decay on the ground just don't stand in it. That's it. All right, let's, yep, but that's about it, guys. Mm. Okay. Chromancers don't want to have these guys casting outside the group. What are you doing? I am doing uh, Hyjal. Hyjal. Uh, fucking Battle for Mount Hyjal. What do we get off trash? Is there anything good off trash? Ooh, that'd be good. Ooh, that'd be good. That's it. 
It's just those two things. Really good job knocking back the casters. Really smart. Whoever did that, absolutely brilliant. It's probably the smartest thing I've ever seen happen. I actually set this to, uh, to fucking rare. Yeah, it was a moon boy. See the journey trailer? I'm gonna watch it after I do the raids. Come after this? Yeah, yeah, just turn back around. So we have the knights fight the guy and everything. Bands fly for one of us, yeah. I don't know why, I just, like, I, as I said, I think there's a lot of things on Twitch that are just, like, super, like, the, like, cr Twitch metas are just, like, sometimes, like, super fucking cringe, man. I, I can't believe people think that shit's funny. It makes me feel like an old fucking, you know, cantankerous old man. I, I see, like, these stupid fucking jokes. Alright, turn back around. Get ready to beat his ass. Beat his dick off. Let's go. Dragonfly might be bringing crafted pieces of mythic gear. Ver sounds very pay to win. How's it very pay to win in a way that... Oh, fuck. Bro, he's after the totems. I got his ass. I got his ass. I'll take care of him. I'll take care of him. Don't worry about it. Just a minute, just a minute. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, I need to do Unholy Frenzy on myself. Okay, good. And let's see, what else do I need to do? Uh, this should be good, yeah, we're ready. Long dicks, guys. Yes, I use the spell book sometimes. Don't worry about it. Everybody uses the spell book sometimes, come on. Bro, how am I tanking this? This is nuts. I thought I was going to lose aggro in like a second. Uh, maybe I'm the... Yeah, I'm, I'm a Death Knight God, apparently. That must be it. I can't believe I'm tanking this with, like, full greens. It's kind of funny. Okay. Get out of that. There you go. There you go, Mr. Tree. Alright, start the next one. There's no loot to drop. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Next. I don't want to look at it. Heroes are sweating. How'd my damage be? Oh, I did pretty good damage. I beat two of them. Wait. Wait, what? How? Wait, what? What are y'all? Fresh cut? Is it fresh 70? What? Is he running away from me? He doesn't want me to inspect him. He's running away. He's trying to get away from me. And I see you. You son of a bitch! We must hold strong. I I bet his gear sucks. Yeah, this guy fucking has no idea what he's doing. We're gonna roll off the loot. Let's go. First item. Okay, nobody wants it. All right. Fresh cut. Wow. Um. I bet you need that. Yep, I bet you fucking do. There you go. Let's see, does the rogue want it? Mr. Rogue, do you want this? Five, four, three, two. You're getting it. All right. Oh, you give it to Cody if you want, Don John. I think it's really that big of a deal. I just pass it off too fast. Fresh 70s need shit the most? Yeah, he does.
All right, let's go get these ads in. Guys, it would be really cool if we could like get all the ads into the group. And that, that makes it to where like we don't have to AOE for longer. Yeah, kind of like that, yeah. Yeah, good job. Okay. Do you still think every decision Blizzard has made about Wrath of the Lich King has been correct? Uh, which decision has been bad about Wrath? Like, which one do you guys not like? Random Dungeon Finder, LFG. I think that LFG... I really worry about, like, people that are on dead servers. Like, that's what my main concern is with LFG. Is, like, I, I worry that people that are in, you know, like, a dead server, they're not going to be able to do anything. I ate heirloom gear? Well, like, I mean, no, 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 that's not a, that's not a decision with Wrath Classic. You just don't like a feature in Wrath of the Lich King. That's different. Let's get this shit done. Go, go, go. I wish they had made personal loot. Why? I mean, just, just fucking, just roll on gear like a normal person, man. Dungeon Fighter is my friend whenever it came out. I got to where I was good at tanking, can make some cool friend on other realms. Bro, you made friends with Dungeon Finder? Like, I never made friends with Dungeon Finder. I made the opposite. I made enemies. Oh. You guys, please stop, like, running in like this. So we can actually, like, get all this these mobs together. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's almost over anyway. Who gives a fuck? Just do whatever you guys want. I don't care. Okay. Uh, renewed shoulder pads. This is gonna be a five second roll. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, it's going to me, I'm taking it. It's mine now. You think GDKP should be banned? No. Why should GDKP be banned? Don't give up. We must prevail. Thanks, Jaina. Yeah, GDKP is fine. Like I I'm a I'm a big advocate of GDKP. It gives people that just want to raid, like, ser the thing is, like, I used to, because I'm poor, yeah, there you go. Um, if you're poor, just get good gear and then be one of the carries. Like, that's what I would do, is, like, I, I had good gear. I would join GDKPs to carry them back in the day, and, and you'd make good gold. Yeah, I mean, that that's smart. It, it's good for everybody involved. The only people that complain about GDKPs are just morons that want to make the game exactly the way that it was, but they don't remember how it was because GDKPs were in the game back then. But they just don't remember. They have, like, a fucking selective memory. All right, let's go. Turn back around. Let's get ready. Second boss. You are defenders of a doomed world. Okay. Flee here, and perhaps you will prolong your pathetic lives. Let's go. Just tank the infernals away. Man, these guys hate totems. The swarm is eager. It's pretty bad that we had all those people get hit by it. All right, it's on miserable. Face the boss away from the raid. Why would you do that? Why would you ever have the boss facing the raid? Like, never ever have another boss fo fo facing the raid ever again in your life. 
Like literally just the never do that again. Turn this random guys and spread out guys. The swarm is eager to feed. Your hopes are We're fi we'll be fine, just don't worry about it. Just keep going. Okay. The swarm is eager. Just kill and kill the boss, just kill the boss. No time for a slow death. Keep it up. The clock is still. Okay. Ticking. I don't know how you guys died. Healing done. Yeah, healing was fine. Deaths. It's because the infernals weren't moved out. That's what killed everybody. Okay, uh, let's see what we got. Uh, Bastion of Light, okay. Pound Cake wants that. Uh, your inventory's full. Shamurai 47, okay. All right, great. No, I don't know why we have some people that aren't resing, but as soon as we get everybody alive, we'll go ahead and we'll move to the next spot, okay? We don't need to be full health for this. Man, we haven't gotten any loot so far. This sucks. Fresh got top of the meter. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's just we these infernals were going wild. Now we must pull back. Oh, I'm not sure, Cody. I think the other tank actually needs it. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know if he does or not. Okay, let's go. Everybody, come on this way. Good. All right, let's go. No way, you're gonna kill Archimon? No, it's fine. We just had a we had a problem with the tanks. From now on, just like give me a second. Like I, it's like my gear is so bad, it's hard for me to get aggro at the beginning, especially since that boss isn't tauntable. So yeah, like I'm gonna struggle with that a pretty good amount. Before people don't use tears, yeah, I know, I'm a little bit worried too, but we'll see what happens. Want to get past Asgore? No, I, I think it'll be fine. I probably should have gotten some more brutal gear. I, I think, like, having more health would have really helped me here. Because, like, my gear is, like, just super, super, super garbage. It's practically face roll now, anyways. Yeah, we just fucked up everything. I don't know if this group can do Black Temple, though. I'm not sure. I think after this, I'll watch some of the videos. And then maybe do Black Temple after, or maybe just do Brimstone Sands and then Black Temple after that. I don't know yet. Blood Presence increased stamina? Uh, let's see. Um, damage and healing? Uh, no, no. So, like, Frost Presence is just, like, it's the best. Like, Frost Presence is the tanking stance. It's just that simple. Black Temple should be easy. The problem is, like, getting tanks that are, that... Like, having tanks that know what they're doing is the most important thing in a raid. 
That's why I play tank with pretty much all my characters, is because a lot of people don't know what they're doing. Archimon's bug, the tank always gets targeted with air burst. Yeah, that might be bad for me because I don't have that good of gear. Alright, come on down here. Let's go. So, uh, for the second group, uh, I'll go to the back and then we'll need some other, uh, some other range to go to the back. Maybe Loy and, like, uh, yeah, maybe Loy and I can go to the back and, and the rest range, most of the ranged. With some healers, so, like, maybe Pound Cake and, uh, v -Air can go to the back. Something like that. What are y'all doing? Come on. Bro, it's these fucking nameplates. Give me a minute. I hate these fucking nameplates. Like, actual garbage nameplates. The worst thing. Okay. We just need a few people in the front here and more people in the back. Those are the birds. We see y'all see the birds? Get ready. Anybody have that on? I, I don't know why I downloaded it. We'll still need some people in the front too, by the way. These will take kind of a while because we have to pull them all down and everything. Maybe we could also have like a Yeah, let's have all of our DKs in the back. All, yeah, all DKs in the back. It's just like the whole thing with this is like super annoying. And so, yeah, gripping these down makes it so much easier. Shows your thread on nameplates. Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't want the nameplates. I don't want the add-on. If I ha if I wanted it, I'd be using it. I don't want it. That's why I'm not using it. It's that simple. Good job. Everybody can be at the front here. If you have DBM, it'll tell you what the mobs are going to be. Do you like the new Dragonflight UI? Uh, I, I think it kind of looks bad. It looks almost like a mobile game UI to me. It looks clean. Yeah, I think that, um, maybe I just don't like the way the character plate looks, like this part looks. And it could just be nostalgia for me, but I don't, I don't really like it a whole lot, personally. Good job on that wave, by the way, guys. Really great job. We'll need a few people to go to the back. There's not that many gargoyles, though, at least. Hmm. Okay. This is uh, Let's Go Live. Enjoy the time of stream. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Which was on sharper lines and everything. Everything looks so soft. Yeah. Literally just put Bartender in the game. That's what I think they should do, too. Like, I I'm not a fan. I, I just wish Blizzard would just take the add ons that are in the game and then just make that the game. It, it, it's, it's literally that simple to me. It's funny how much weaker I feel than my warrior. And it's all because I don't have revenge. Like, my damage is okay. It's, it's not great, but it's okay. Um, so, just if you guys forgot what I said, uh, let's make sure that if there are gargoyles that are coming out, that all of the DKs come down to the back area. 
I mean, like, we're going to have enough for, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It just kind of speeds things up. That's all I really care about is, like, getting it done in, like, a, in a timely manner. Can't even scale elements in a new UI. It's bad. Yeah. I mean, they just need to... I don't know why, like, for example, in Final Fantasy, the UI editor that they have is totally okay. And also, everybody in the front, um, uh, also, like New World, for example, the UI is already very, very clean, so you don't need to change anything. In, like, let me think. Like, a lot of these other games, they already have super clean UIs, so you don't need to do it anyway. Grip these dick suckers in. Grip the dick suckers in, guys. Come on. Really good job, guys. Huge damage. Let's go. Stop playing WoW for a while. Got my new PC. Reinstalled WoW. Spent the first few days reconfiguring UI and add-ons. It's just like it's too much, man. Uh, gar gar gargoyles and, the, uh, and we've got one big boy. There's one big boy coming out. Get ready for him, ranged. I still have, I have no shame in thinking that I, I was expecting this to be the coolest raid in the game, man. As like a Warcraft 3 player, whenever this came out, I was so fucking excited to do this raid. I can't get this guy down yet. Maybe I should have gotten... Oh, there we go. Maybe I should have gotten the death grip thing. I guess it's like... I don't really need it. It's just for like these one... These one mobs. There is the big boy. You see him? All range be getting on him. He's no joke. I just get right underneath him and do some attacks. There you go. There you go. Big numbers. Ban on hitting classic up. Just remember the 500 wipes on Heroic Witch King. There's no way you wipe 500 times on Heroic Witch King. Holy shit. Um, is it worth it getting back into classic right now? Yeah. I mean, the game comes out in like four days or something. It's always fun, in my opinion, to play a new to play a new MMO. That's what I say. Yeah, it's always fun to play a new MMO. Yeah, solved MMO? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's basically a solved MMO, but it's fun. It's like, for example, like, there's a lot of games that are... Like, really not that complicated, but they're still fun to play. Uh, there's one large big boy, so get ready to kill him. There he is. Let me deal with the loot. The important part. Attack power. Maybe I should use this attack power trinket. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I need my, as much parry as I need, as I can, as I can get. Throw these away too. Make sure there's no loot up here that I forgot about. I'll come back when Blizzard puts in Classic Plus. I can understand that, man. Alright, so for this next boss, what is the next boss? Kazragal? Alright, um, I forgot what he does. So just, uh, you know, just don't worry about it. Okay... Just kill it? Yeah, kill it until it's... Oh, mana burn. That's right, yeah. Make sure you keep your mana... It's above 4,000, right? I think that's the number. You have to keep your mana above 4,000. 35%. So, so. Okay, well, don't take your mana under half, guys. Don't go oom or we go boom. Okay. Now 
Now, if you look at him, he 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 is using my sword. So we have to kill him really hard, or he won't drop the sword. All right, let's go. Miserable, what are you doing that, that's wrong right now? What are you doing that's wrong? Good job. Why don't we have heroism? Pop heroism. Your death. Okay, keep your mana under over half. We're doing great, guys. I'm very proud of you. Keep up this momentum. He'll be dead very soon. As soon as this one's over, start the next one. This guy's probably easier than some of the trash waves. This guy's a joke. Holy shit, this guy's a joke. You are mine. Okay. <laughs> Great job. Yes, I got something. Thank fucking God. I actually got a purple. I got a purple item. There we go. Start the next one, guys. Let's go. Iggy with the 85. What else? All right, Iggy, you're getting it. Let's see where, where the belt at, where the belt at. Ooh. Ooh, that's big. Ooh, that's big. Wow, that's big. All right, let's go. I rolled a 107. Sounds like a mistake you just made, Hubris. I wouldn't do that. Moving up to your name. Getting out there a little bit too hard, too fast. Grip these dick suckers in. Remember, we don't want to have them just going around doing whatever the fuck they want. You see that guy? He's running around. That guy's attacking our healer. Is that good? No, it's not good. Blood and thunder. Okay, we got gargoyles. Uh, DK's to the back. Let's have a range to the back. Melee stay up here in the front. Let's go. Next boss is going to drop. Wow, I need this chess piece. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie, guys, I need it. I need that chess piece. Wait, where's the gargoyles? Oh, they're over there. Okay, yeah, come on. Let's go, guys. We went to the wrong spot. It's not a big deal. Game's easy, by the way, so don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, we also have a Frostworm that's attacking us. So, like, maybe range should, like, I don't know, like... I mean, I... T Look, I mean, you know what to do. Maybe you could just... I mean, if you wanted to, you could attack it. Well, good death grip. Ooh, that's good. It's hitting all of us. Very, very good. All right, and also DKs again. Very good job with these death grips. Amazing, incredible. Where's the last guy? Oh, he's up there. All right, so we've got to get uh, ghouls. All right, everybody in front. Oh, bro, like imagine, dude, imagine. Ooh, imagine me getting that. Oh my god, that would be big. Ooh, that would be so big. Wow. No, we have Infernals? Wait, no, we got Infernal. Uh, bro, I think my, my thing's fucked up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my thing's fucked up. Just come out and just kill the, uh, kill all the Infernals. Probably need a heal or, like, I don't know, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I would need a heal. 
popped retaliation, guys. Yeah, the infernal waves are pretty easy. They're just annoying. Uh, don't ever. Uh, who's who's doing knockbacks? So here, let me let me create a flow chart. Um, here, I'll do this for you guys real quick. Okay. You guys understand? You get it? Okay. Great. I'm glad we worked that one out. Uh, guys, uh, by the way, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Paul, I gotta look at your gear. What are you doing? What are you doing? Miserable. Has it ever potentially occurred to you that having 10% avoidance would be good for tanking? I mean, I, I, I don't know. He says, what do you mean? I can AoE stun? Really? How long did you stun the last boss for? What do you mean you can AoE stun? What the hell are you talking about? Man, you really need to, like, man, just... Fucking, like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, man. Like, that's actually the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, you should not be thinking about doing an AoE stun as if combat is going to last the three seconds that Shockwave stun lasts. That's not the way it goes. Like, also, like, yeah, you're using Shockwave, that's great. But, like, what happens whenever that's over? You, you, you really got to get your shit in check, man. You, you got the wrong talents. You, you, you like, that. fucking, you should have five points in deflection... Five in anticipation to, to get that dodge and parry chance. Like don't don't fuck around with that shit, man. It's actually it's so good, you have no idea. And also you won't need to stun them if they can't hit you, huh? Think about that. Dodge isn't on a cooldown, but shockwave is. Think like a winner. Old legs? We don't talk about old legs, man. We don't talk about him. He's, uh... We, we just don't talk about him. That's all there is to it. Okay, good. We got one more. And we're done. Alright, what do we have on this last one? This, this is a bunch of bullshit, right? I forgot. After this one, we got the boss. Um, once we get boss in position and everything...
Uh, that's nerve we want to pop. Uh, Cody says chill. At least he doesn't have res sick. Yeah, that's true. That is very, very true. It could be worse. Let's go. This boss puts like a dot on somebody and uh, after it expires it spawns something or fucking I don't remember. Uh, so just like pop heroism and burn him down. Okay, and I think we got all these right. The Legion has returned to finish what was begun so many years ago. Get ready. This time, there will be no escape. Let's get this big boy in here, all right? Pick up totems. Good job, Shamurai. Good job. Good job. Good job following directions. I'm proud of you. All right, let's do this. I'm going to face him away. Just pop CDs right now. Massive long dicking, guys. Massive long dicking. We got heroism. Good. Massive long dicking. Let's go. Run away. Rain of fire. Get out of rain of fire. Avoid standing in the fire. Okay, or, or don't. Run away. Doom is on nibbles. What's the cooldown on that? I'll pick up the ad. Good job, Burnzor. Really good job. Just focus down the boss. Ignore the Doom Ward. Run away. It's good that went on me. It's very good that went on me. Smart Sea Biscuit, move out as soon as you see, you saw that stun. That was a good idea. I'm proud of you. Your good job. Where to move that? Where to move that? Go talk to Taronda. Get your tears of the goddess. Please, fucking chess piece. Please be the chess piece. Come on, please, please. Yes, dude. There it is. Big fucking dick. We got it. All right. There we fucking go, boys. That's how to win. All right. Let's go. Gloves. Hubris with the 91. Congratulations, Hubris. Nice try, Cody. You almost got him. Uh, Gonk, uh, fucking, like, this one, Conqueror. I was gonna say Gonker, uh, Conqueror. Uh, let's, bro, I can't believe I got this. Ooh, I got it. Ooh, I got it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good now. All right, what we got? Gucci Mane with a 77 and Nibbles with a 93. All right, I'll close it in three, two, one. All right, Nibbles, we're gonna give first one to you. Gucci Mane, second one to you. Congrats, guys. All right. It's sword time. Ooh, it's sword time. Ooh, we gonna get sword time. It's gonna be sword time. Hmm. Oh, it's gonna be sword time. Let's go. Now, I want y'all to understand what to do. You're gonna talk to Taronda, and she's gonna give you an item. It is called Tears of the Goddess. Whenever Archimonde knocks you up in the air, you will use Tears of the Goddess before you fall down, and Tears of the Goddess will apply a slow fall buff on you and make you not take falling damage or reset your falling damage at the point that you use it at. So that means you don't want to use it at the very top because it won't affect that. 
You have to use it right before you hit the ground. Now, guys, we are not MLG elite wizards. Just be smart about using it a second or so before you hit the ground. Put it on your, uh, you have charge. No, but you, you can't use charge. Yeah, you can't use it because you're going to be in combat. Oh, actually, no, your arms, yeah, I, I forgot, they, they got rid of that. Um, he might knock, knock you too far away. Uh, I would not risk it with charge. Make sure you have both of them. So yeah, you don't have to click it super fast. Make sure put it on your bar and like a big button in the middle of your screen or keybind it somewhere that you uh, that you know what you're doing with it. And uh, in terms of Archimonde, he does fears. And uh, with the fears, we want to have tremor totems down as much as possible. And uh, he also puts fire on the ground. Guess where you're not supposed to stand? That's right, you're not supposed to stand on the fire. So don't do that and you'll be just fine. Where I get the tears? Uh, talk to Taronda. Come back. If you don't know where the tears are, Cody, Cody, Cody. Did you get them or not? No shit, where she at? Come, come back to me. Come back to me. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go get it. Fire gives a buff? No, it doesn't. It does not give a buff. It, it gives you a debuff. It's a, the debuff is called you're, you're on fire. And nobody wants to be on fire. Ooh, I'm going to get the sword. Oh my god, if I get the sword. Holy shit, imagine if I get the sword. Wow, if I get this sword. I think I'm going to get it. I think today is my lucky day. I was thinking about it. Yep. Today is my lucky day. Okay, talk to her. May a loon light your path. The canter's absorption. Yeah, true. Same with, uh, don't tell them that, though. Don't tell them that. All right, let's go. How much health does Archimonde have again? I just only got three million. That's no big deal. Jerry, talk about mount drops for tanks and healers. Yeah, who cares? I mean, really, who gives a fuck? I don't care. Like, those mounts are super easy to get anyway. Tell Priest, give me Fear Ward. Smart. Yeah, give me Fear Ward. Alrighty. Guys. I want you to take this very seriously. There is loot off this boss that I need. We cannot afford any mistakes. All right. Let's go. Move in, guys. Let's go. Use your Tears of the Goddess when you need to. Oh my god, he does a lot of damage. Let's go, let's go. Air burst. Air burst. Watch how I do. Watch me do it. Oh, there it is. Hit him from the front. Why can't I not hit boss? There we go, we good. All right, let's go. Just don't be bad, only be good. Good, I need another fear war. Give me another one. But don't be on top of me. You don't want to be standing on top of me. All right, watch it. You're gonna fuck. You're gonna fuck it up. Watch, gonna fuck it up. Oh my god, he might fight fire. I think he fucked it up. I think he fucked it Oh, he charged in. Okay, that's too bad. Uh, let's get some, uh, some decurses. Decursings. Let's go, boys. Decursings. Target you. Good job. Uh, where's the boss? Get on the boss. Yeah, come on. All three 
Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Stay on them. Stay on them. Just heal whoever has aggro. Just heal whoever has aggro. Heal Cody. Heal Don John. Heal Don John. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Big numbers. Let's get it. What are you doing, Mr. Tree? Okay. We're doing great, guys. Keep it up. We're doing great. Keep it up. We're doing amazing. He can't handle us. Oh. Wait, did we get it? No fucking shot. We actually got it. Go, go, go. Kill him. Kill him. Kill, kill his ass. Kill his ass. Kill his ass. Kill his ass. Holy shit, we killed him. I knew we were going to kill him the whole time. Damn. Damn, give me the sword. Give me the sword. I need it. Give me the sword. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. I want to make space in my inventory. Come on. Come on. Come on, give me the sword. Give me the sword. I'll take it. I'll take it. The legs are the legs are fucking amazing. The legs are absolutely fucking amazing. I'm happy. Yeah, I, I'm actually happy. Like this is really big good. This is big good. Yeah, wrong sword. Okay, Tempest of Chaos. Tempest of Chaos. Fresh two. Fresh cut. Ten. Alright, fresh two, you're getting it. Fresh two. I can't I can even use it. Yes, we know that. That's why I checked. Okay, we have three helms of the protector. Roll. Let's go. Muchash, you should have rolled faster. Hubris with the 65. Miserable with the 47. Um, I guess we'll give it to Hubris, Miserable, and Don John. Fuck it. Okay, uh, Hubris... Wait, Hubris, I thought you had the fucking Coif of Valeria. What do you need that shit for? Miserable, where's Miserable? Okay, and then where's the last one? Don John. Okay. Cody, you're getting the last one, aren't you? Yeah. Completing my set. You're completing your set. Holy fuck. Okay. Um, all right, let me put on the legs. Damn. Damn. Oh, man. Look at that. Wow. Oh, Ribbon Dare. Wow. How come you got Snowy Griffin instead of the Bone one? Uh, I never had the Bone Griffin back in the day. I didn't even know you could get it. I just bought the Snowy Griffin because that's the Griffin that I had on my other character. And that's so why I just get that Griffin. That's about it. I didn't really think about it that much. Yeah.
Probably talk about, oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't really play CSGO, I played 1.6. But it's like, it's kind of all the same thing. I missed the bone one. I used to love that little guy. Whatever happened to it? I didn't know they got, I don't think they got rid of it, did they? I have no idea. Repair? No, I won't repair. I'll just loot myself new gear. There's no reason to repair. Repairing is for losers. Okay, everybody zone in. Let's get this done. Let me just do this. This is important. Alright. How old are you? 40? Shut up. Shut up, bitch. PvP gatekeepers uh, make a big deal out of still ceiling and respective to PvP experiences different games. I, I don't know. Just so they can feel better about the time that they invested into it. Uh, I, I think that's really what it comes down to. Yeah, they just want to feel better about it. Looks pretty good for 40. I'm 32. I don't really feel like, uh, I, I don't feel like I'm 32 at all. It's weird. You feel 40? No, I feel like I'm 16. I mean, fuck, I did this raid when I was 16. I don't feel at all. Yeah, I feel fine. I'm just chilling, man. Let's go, let's go, get this shit done. Hey, yo, boys, so, like, basically we go in there, get rid of the, uh, trolls and shit, alright? Okay, cool, let's go. Let's feel like, uh, your bow looking 15, looking 18. Nah, I feel fine, man. I feel good, I'm chilling, everything's fine. Starforge Horizon card. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm I'm glad the. St I mean, Starforge has been doing great. I'm really happy about that, man. Uh, it's like you know, like I I feel good that like now like we just kind of have things up and running. You know what I mean? This one spawns first, so I figured I'd grip it in. Did you guys know that Death Knights can death grip? A lot of Death Knights don't know that. It's crazy how many Death Knights don't know you can use Death Grip. Pretty much about 90% of Death Knights don't know about Death Grip. Yeah, they have no idea. Uh, and, like, you tell them, like, hey, there's this spell that, like, allows you to, like, pull things to you. And they're like, wait, what do you mean? Like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, okay, so, like, basically, like, yeah, it's a hidden ability or some shit. Just come, just come here. Get these guys. Look at that, look at that, look how, look at you, and if you have two death knights, look how you can, like, do two death grips, man. That's nuts. What the fuck? That's crazy. Let's go. Do you start off with a skill? Yeah, you do. It's, like, one of the main skills that you have. Death knight, death grip, I mean, shit. What are we doing, guys? What are we doing? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? What are you, what are you wasting our fucking time for? Run up there. Come on, let's go. Oh, I'll do it. All right, that's fine. I'll do it. Let's go. So, so like, sometimes, like, you'll have, like, a mob that's, like, back there. He's not doing anything. So you, you just go and you, you hit this button, right? It's crazy what this button can do. So, like, the button will make it to where, like, the target that was uh, not near you. Well, guess what? Now it is. Isn't that nuts? Oh, my God. Wow. I'll just pull this guy over here too. Remember, if you're always wondering should I pull it or not, the answer is always yes. Good job, Derek ass. You almost died. Don't die. For this boss, whenever he does the thing, get under it. You know how it works.
Old legs, make sure you have Righteous Fury on. Get up here, come on. Oh, we should have got a shaman. Let's go. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Well, he's gonna die for old age. We're waiting for the for it to get removed in cataclysm. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hit the kill, hit, pull the boss. There's a timer. We've only got 18 minutes to kill him. Derek Ass is not the tank. Okay, I'm gonna have to build threat myself. I'll take care of this. I'll take care of this. It'll be fine. Focus, guys. This Special shit's coming. hard. It's not easy. It's hard. That's the whole fight, guys. By the way, that's literally the entire thing. So, like, just just kill the boss. Really good job, guys. I know. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Special coming. <sighs> Executioner, roll on it. Let's go. All right, nobody wants it. Cool. Next. Neck. Derek Ass with an 81. All right, Derek Ass, you're winning it. You want Executioner? Cool. Do you want the, uh, the neck too or not? No neck. Okay, Way, congrats on the neck. Good job. I'm proud of you. Old legs, can you go through like your philosophy with your talents for me? Just like kind of what you were thinking? Like what your mindset was like whenever you put the buttons into the, or the whenever you, you went and you used um, what, what like what you were thinking. Like what, what was your, what was your philosophy on talents? Okay, all right. Uh, we're gonna give this to, uh, we'll give this to Vier for uh, DPS. He's not responding. He says, I don't know, question mark. Well, you completely fucked them up. Your talents are fucking garbage. You're not you why don't you use shield slam? It's ridiculous. L look it up and figure it out, man. Like, I, I'm, bro, I'm just gonna tank. I'm just gonna tank on DK. I said, fuck it, man. Big dick. Let's go. Pull these. It's like just god level tanking, like god level damage, god level aggro. It's just crazy, man. Wow, I'm doing so well. Oh my god.
Dude, put a sh I can't put a shield on, man. That's for pussies. Get him. Big damage, boys. Let's go. Remember, if a mob is uh, is not in the pile, you have to get it in the pile. You just AOE everything down. That's how easy the game is, guys. Frost does aggro. He's just doing it for more HP. Oh, I, I mean, I, I didn't know that, but I was. I, I apparently I'm tanking. I didn't know I was tanking until uh, I looked at the warrior's talents. Turns out I am. Keep it up, guys. We're doing great. Good job. Way is dead. Aggro, bro? Don't you need two tanks for this? Old legs, just don't worry about it, alright? Just chill out. Try and enjoy yourself. I better get some loot. I better get some loot. Oh, I better get the loot. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. I might die. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. There it is. Old legs dead. More like no legs. Res, res him up. Here, I'll give you this. You, you you get that for since you died. A minute, guys. All right, so we basically, uh, fucking like, I mean, you guys know what to do. All right, let's go. Get ready. Why would you taunt and mocking blow at the same time? Oh, that's big damage. Oh, I might die. Oh, I might die. Oh, I'm dead. Let's go. I got a taunt. I got a taunt. I have to because he, he, he fucking... He was trying to tank the buffs. It's fine. It's fine. As long as I... As long as I have that buff or I, I taunted for him, he's okay. He needs big heals. Okay, Lily, it's on you. Lily, you're gonna be the new tank, okay? Uh, it's your job now to tank everything. So go into Frost Presence. Yeah, you're tanking now. You've been promoted. Okay. More to loot.
Uh, can, uh, can, can I use fist weapons as a DK? No? Okay, uh, let's see. Who's this gonna go to? Lloyd, do you want this? If not, we're gonna give it to, uh, Old Legs. Oh, actually, Lloyd can't use it. I'm just gonna give it to Old Legs. There you go, yeah. Uh, speaking of old legs, I guess I'll put on my other, my other legs. Okay, and I got bracers too. I'll put on these. Uh, these are plate cloth, uh, healing bracers. It's pretty good. Pretty good item overall. Like, you, you know, you think about everything. Take it all into consideration. Relatively decent item. Okay, I just want to make sure I don't have any other tank gear I can get and put on. Yeah, I'm going to put on this defense rating. And this is a little bit more defense. Dodge, 28 stamina. We'll put on that boot too. Okay, what's in the box? Let's get out of the box. Okay, old legs. Um, you just got the set. You got both weapons. You got fury and rage. Wow. That's amazing. Old legs. Yeah, that's big loot. Nice. Let's go. Fury and rage. It's how I feel in old legs tanks. <laughs> That's bad, man. Alright, let's go. Yeah, pick up these mobs. We're doing great. Keep it up. Listen, guys, I know this game is hard, alright? I played it for 15 years. I know it's hard. But you're gonna have to do what you need to do. Let's go. Good job. And uh, if we have, like, one of the ads or something like that, uh, just kill the ads, too. It's not really that hard. Hard for NA, yes, yeah, like nobody can beat this game. Yeah, everybody heal Loy. Loy's the main tank now. Old legs, I want you to do me a favor, okay? Take mocking blow off your bar. I never want to see it again. So take it off your bar, yep. Never again. There you go, good job. So, for this boss, uh, basically fucking, like, so what we have to do is, uh, well, you don't want to be in the red ones. Move in, move in, old legs. Come on, guys, move, move in. You're gonna get yourself locked out? Good. Oh, you can't get locked out on this one, never mind. Uh, be in a circle around them. I'll just kill this guy myself. Just don't want to worry about him that way. I won't hatch out the mags. Fuck the mags, bruh. Ain't got time for eggs. We're doing great. I'm really proud of you guys. You're so amazing.
Watch your step. Don't worry about this shit. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about it. So you just get these ads. Just heal, Loy. It's fine. Just heal, Loy. Kosh is dead. Kosh, you shouldn't be dead. Uh, I think the big game bug that didn't drop any loot. Uh, it's just like some stupid thing. Uh, l let's go ahead and see what else there is. Yeah, it's a bug. All right, let's go to the next boss. Let's go, guys. Come on, let's not get lazy. Come on. Big damage, guys. Big, big damage. Remember, whenever these mobs, whenever we aggro mobs, we have to kill them. Don't forget about that. It's part of the raid. We only have 20, 28 minutes left, okay? So keep that in mind. Old legs. Uh, let's kill old legs. Ah, shit, never mind, we can't. Okay, we'll give him that, might as well. Okay, who's gonna get the bear mount? Uh, not me. I don't, th I don't want it. The bear's removed. Hmm. Was we'll find out. Yeah, we'll we'll find out. Hopefully, hopefully it won't be. Maybe there'll be like a bug, and we'll be able to still get it. Fingers crossed, guys. We're drinking big red. Fuck no, I'm not drinking Big Red. I'd rather drink water. <laughs> so for these mobs, uh, it's pretty easy. You just have to get all of them, and uh, we'll AoE these guys down. Uh, get, get them over. Yep, there we go. There we go. See how this works? See how it's done? How does one drink Big Red? Uh, you lose all fucking humanity. You become hollow. You give up on life and you drink Big Red. Ugh. So, um, I do want to say, uh, talk a little bit about, uh, culling. Uh, in the guild, obviously, like, Wrath is gonna come out, and regardless of which guild I'm in, I'm playing in, like, all the time, like, obviously this guild will still just be going on. Uh, I will delegate the responsibility of... If you are in the guild, and it's Wrath of the Lich King, and you're garbage, we're gonna kick you out of the guild. So if, like, an officer plays with you and you suck, we'll just kick you out of the guild. Like, that's literally it. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm not even gonna think about it. Let me go get the next mob. I prefer to have us fight them down here rather than up there. So, you better be good. You don't want to be on anybody's naughty list. Uh, Derek ass is fucking somehow dead again. Uh, I, I don't know how this happened, but it did.
Okay, res Derek ass. Just don't suck relative to other guild members. Yeah, it's like if somebody doesn't know what they're doing, it's not a big deal. There's a big difference between not knowing what you're doing and being a, 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 a dumb fuck. Right? I'm talking about like big stupid. Like super dumb, like big dumb, no brain. That's what we don't want, guys. Good grip. Yeah, just like in general. Get these ads. Uh, Loy, I'll stack on top of you. Don't worry about anything, old legs. You, you're fine. Pull boss and we're good. What's an example of a big of big dumb? It's like putting 50 points into protection and then like not getting shockwave. How will I die? Uh, deaths, low decay, saber lash. Attack Healers detected. didn't heal the, the tank. Uh, old leg, stand on top of, uh, stand on top of Loy. Stand directly on top of him. I didn't say to taunt the boss. Loy and old legs, you guys need to be on top of each other. Guys, so that means you have to, okay, so, so like, what I, what I mean by that is, like, you want to have, like, your character is on top of his character. So, like, yeah, 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 there, there, there all right, that's good, that's good, that's good. But, like, see, see, like, how that guy, yeah, see, that's the thing, right? Is like, so, like, oh, my God, all right, all right, so, oh, you got to get the totem. Oh, you got to get it. Oh, you got to get that totem. You need to get that totem. Come on, come on, get it down. There it is. Proud of you. Okay. That's good. That's good. All right. Now you guys stack on top. You have to stand. Remember, guys, you have to stand on top of each other. But you have to pick up that ad. Pick up that ad. There. Oh. Woo. Wow. Ew. There. That's good. Oh, he's back over there. Wow. To get the totem. There you go, we always got, he's got the big one right there. Wow, look at that. All right, finish him off, finish him off, let's go. Good job, guys. So, Wei, why would you use Seed of Corruption? On uh, one target. My shadow spell is too long of a cast. It, what's it too long for? I'm PvP spec. Uh, okay, we're gonna give this one to uh, uh, fucking. Uh, we're gonna give it to Primordial. Derek ass, you want this one? Oh fuck. What the fuck is this? I'm just gonna give this to Primordial. Let's go, come on. So... <sighs> okay. Alright, okay, alright, alright, so... Okay. Are you able to have Seed of Corruption and Corruption on the same target in, in Wrath, or is that only a BC thing? I think it's- I think you can do that in Wrath, right? No, you can't? 
So, so you can only have Seed of Corruption or Corruption on the target. Old Legs, I'll give that to you. You probably need that. Yes. So, wait. What does more dam- well, let's actually look. Let's, let's find out for ourselves. Okay. Legs of Corruption. So how much damage does Seed of Corruption do to one target? Actually a lot. 13k AoE cap, it heals. Suji 3k and AV. I just, I, I feel like he shouldn't be doing that, but like, I, I don't know, like, I, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure what he should be doing, but like it just, it doesn't make sense that his damage is this fucking bad. It really doesn't. So, so you're saying that using single target Seed of Corruption is a bad decision? Is that kind of what we're getting at? It's super bad. He says, I'm Affliction, I'm saving up for DS for demo. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Basically, what I want you guys to do is uh, we're going to grip all the mobs together. We're going to alien them down. We're going to kill the boss. Okay? Sound good? Great. Get his ass in there. Get his ass in there. Let's go. Big AoEs, boys. Big AoEs. Big AoEs. If the mobs cast something, uh, stop them from doing that. Let's go. AoE incoming. That's really smart, Kosh, to not stand with the group. In case there's any, like, uh, you know, heals that heals you nearby, it's, it's always good for you to be far away from everybody else for no reason. Twenty guys, she's got twenty percent bonus damage. Okay, it's no joke. AOE incoming. Okay, uh, this is a fucking paladin belt. I'm just gonna give it to the paladin. This is uh, a cloak. Hopefully, I get the weapon. Derek Ass with the 46, congrats. Old legs? Can you open up your uh, spell book? And go to the arms uh, category. And can you find Heroic Strike? Is it an arms? Can you, can you find that ability for me? I want you to link it to me whenever you find it. So, why do you not use that ability? I don't have sword and board on. What does sword and board mean to you? It 
So you can't use uh, Heroic Strike unless you have Sword and Board activate? What does Sword and Board have to do with, uh, uh, with Heroic Strike? Wait, I do? I just changed my spec? No, 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 but like, what does it have to do with it, though? It makes it not cost rage. So sword and board makes heroic strike cost less rage. Where does it say that? Sorry, that is the wrong talent. Yeah, I'm sorry too. So why don't you use heroic strike? I will now, I move on my hot bars. Why did you intercept instead of charge? Why would you do that? My hot bars are set up for PvP, I use both. So you think Shockwave wouldn't be useful in PvP? It would be very useful. Well, why don't you have it? <laughs> I'm not PvP right now. You're not PvP right now. Uh, I, let's, let, let's, let's just get this done. Let's get this done. I don't want to waste any more people's time. Let's go. Come on, move up. Everybody move up. Let's go. Fear, old legs. Come on. Okay, old legs is locked out. Uh, let's just, uh, I, I, I mean, let's just go. Phase two. This is the second phase, guys. It's uh, easier than the first one. Yeah, we'll be able to ice bound out of that one, trink it out of the second one. He'll be fine. Phase three. This is the hardest part, guys. If we can beat this, we can beat the boss. If we can beat this, we can beat Illidan. We can beat any boss if we beat this boss. Phase four. Good job on that seed of corruption. He's gonna be corrupted after this, I'll tell you that. Good job on that feign death, Kosh. Keep it up. Keep it up, Hubris. Good job.
phase five. This is the last phase. It's the fifth phase. Keep up those seeds of corruption, man. You've got them on the ropes now. Big damage. Huge damage. Do I really want this? Probably not. Yeah, I don't feel like I don't want it. Well, is that going to be an upgrade for, uh... No, it's not. Alright. I may have to change spec to demo. Let's just use the right spells, you'll be fine. Kosh with a 91. Alright. Howl Bard of the Empire's Champion. Okay, it's going to go to Grudge. Cleaver of the Unforgiving. Congratulations, me. Guys, this was a hard run. We barely made it. Congratulations, guys. Really, really good job. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy to get through this raid. Old legs. You really need to look up how to play your character. I mean this in the most respectful way possible. You have no fucking idea what you're doing. Go to Wowhead. Go to YouTube. I watch you teach better. This is not an educational stream. And if you were watching me, you'd be using the Unrelenting Assault build that I used on my Warrior. But you're not. So what did you learn from me? So what, what, what specifically did you learn from me? Don't put this on me. Don't you put this on me. Don't you put this on me, old legs. I don't want to hear it. Uh-uh. Asmon, do better. Old legs. Just want to make you happy. I'll do better. Don't make your don't make me happy. Make yourself better. Make yourself happy. If you want to make me happy, here's what you need to do, man. You need to look up on Google, on YouTube, or on Icy Veins. Look look these up on the Google. Read everything that they say. Google Protection Warrior Guide Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Okay? Copy that exactly. Do not think, don't think to yourself, oh, well, maybe, uh uh, nope. No. <laughs> uh uh. No. Just let me stop you right there. Copy it exactly. Protection Warrior. Get, please don't get creative. You will do yourself the biggest favor. If you're new to the game, it's probably overwhelming. I get it. Please. Learn how to play, man.